You're not waiting for me, are you? Is it me? That you're... Hello? Oh. No, I don't know. <laughs> We're just oh. going to start it now. Are we going to start who we are, what we are? We'll just go back into a few new ones today. You ready? Yeah. Uh, the recording is all started, so whether you're ready or not, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My Hello. Name is Purcell, and this is my husband, Rick, and we are part of HealTeachLove.org. Today is uh, Saturday, June 22nd, 2024, and uh, this is a, is a channeling webinar. Uh, we will also do healing if you need it, but we are today channeling messages um, for you from your loved ones or whoever comes through for you. Um, for those who don't know us, Rick and I, um, Rick is connected to source energy. The white light came to him about seven six, years six ago. Seven. Yeah, six or seven years ago. Uh, source, God, whoever, whatever name you give him, uh, connected with my husband. And uh, from that point on, he became the healing source the energy comes from him and I started getting downloads uh, of information of what's happening with you. And uh, so I channel the, the information to you and see inside your body. We also get information uh, concerning past lives. Uh, and I channel the angels or your relatives that come through, whoever comes through, whoever comes through for you. Correct. Um, and we partnered with Philip Barrow about four years ago mm -hmm. or so, maybe longer. Yeah. I don't know. It goes by so fast. It could be. Um, and uh, so he is also part of He'll Teach Love. And I will let him introduce himself to you. All right. Thank you, Deb. And happy solstice to everyone. Uh, yeah, I, I've been, yeah, we, we got in touch about four or five years ago, just before the, uh, or just during the, Whatever happened four years ago. <laughs> I don't even know if you're allowed to say it. I started healing when I was about four year old. I'm a walking uh I'm a walking spirit, soul, whatever you call it. Uh assigned by the Emerald Order to help humanity. Uh I started doing uh, connection with the uh with the uh what do you call the weather, you know, the the elements when I was about seven. I started doing shamanic, uh, the dark work, which I call dark work, is removing dark energies when I was about 12. I start, I was credited healing about 22 years ago, which was at night school for two years. I'm just actually doing, uh, going through the Reiki, Reiki courses, which I've done a few, uh, which is very similar to, to what, what I, I got at night school 20 years ago. I also do it at uh, a voluntary healing centre once a week. I used to go twice a week, but the other the other place closed because of uh, because of the closures, you know, the lockdowns, basically. So I always believe that we can heal anything and everything. Uh, channeling can be a bit difficult because it depends if we're channeling. Sometimes it can be quite difficult for them to communicate and for you because they they have difficulty as well as we we can. So it just depends who comes in and how good they are at connecting. So I think that's about it, and uh, hope you all enjoy it. Yeah, yeah channel isn't isn't me my best thing, but I have done it. I've done a lot of it over the years. And normally when you're healing, you normally have a loved one giving you uh, some information anyway. All right, over to you, Linda. Thank you. And. Our um, administrator today is Lily, who will <laughs> will be letting us know who's been who's next. So, yeah, I'll be using oracle cards, by the way, as well to, okay. to help me. And I actually will just be channeling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So whoever comes through, I will let you know. All right. Great. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Thank you. Lily? Yes. Who's Vicky. First? Victoria is our first one. Do we have your, it, it, is hers, um, her sound effect? Her sound back? Uh, do um, you hear me? There. All right. Yeah, the green one, Victoria, is you can talk 
Okay, the great. Green t-shirt. Uh, I don't <laughs> know it. Which one's the real one? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't navigate them all, Bao. I can't really get to the chat easy. And somehow, even though this glitches a lot, it's easier to type on the laptop, but the laptop got fried. So the moment Zoom got on, it fried. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi. Sorry about that. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hello. So what are we doing? Mm, if you like, you can do a, a scan of the home and the energies and maybe the, just a scan, like the usual thing to see if anything is happening with me and maybe a bit of guidance, Okay. like whatever message you get. I mean, I'm already getting a message with that green top you're wearing. Uh, you need to connect to the green dragons more. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes. I know I kind of slacked up on that part. But yeah. I'm wearing green for the sake of deliberate yeah. change it today because I wanted yeah. to shift. There the seemed emerald, to be a mm -hmm. Yeah, the emerald dragons of light. The emerald order. You need to mm -hmm. connect. I'm still, I'm still yeah. seeing there is a there's like guards outside your property. So I don't see anything inside. I see I see things happening outside. But nothing inside. What kind of things happening outside? What I see outside are like battles of things trying to get in. Do you see a battle on the outside? When you leave, when you are like when you go to sleep. And you're, where are you going when you're um, leaving your body, when you're etheric in the, are you going, still going out and working? Because I see, I see this war going on, spiritual war outside of where you live. I mean, I see this whole nother world going on where there's all these beings. It's like, it's weird. It's almost like it's not really your yard out there like your yard or the, like it's the it's the weirdest thing I, I can't even describe it it's like when you walk outside your house it's not really where you live it's like another world well outside my home my yard i know that there's the house and the yard space is protected it's guarded. Right. But it's not really, you're not, it, it's not really Canada. You, if you, yeah, if I were there, it would be Canada. But when yeah. you, when, when you open that door, it's not, it's another world. Totally. I see beings I've never seen before. I see dragons. I see, I mean, it's a different dimension outside your, the walls that you live in right now. I happened, like yesterday was the uh, 21st. I did a major download. A lot of things happened. Um, a lot of things came through and I see a doozy war. Like what? I saw missiles coming in and I, saw, I went into, the first thing I came. Oh, I just got a message. You're not grounding yourself. That's why it's like you're going back inside her house. Frozen. She's not. Oh, crap. The other one hasn't. <laughs> Phil, do you see what I'm seeing, though? It's almost like mm -hmm. this other world is right outside there. It's not, her, it's not like she's. As soon as. So she's not leaving it. She's not leaving it. She brings it home with her. Yeah, so she's a, not grounded. A spiritual war in town. Yeah, she's she brings it right home with her. Instead of grounding herself and leaving it behind. Back. She's back again. Sorry, um okay. I came back. Um I didn't hear you kind of lost. Okay, you, so you yeah, what what Deb's saying is your battles outside. In the astro field, you're bringing him home a bit. 
Yeah, you're bringing it to a, to your own. Still there. <laughs> it's not because you're using two Wi Fi's, is it? Can you just use the speaker on the one thing instead of the video? There, there's a battle. Go Take the video off the one that that the speaker works, and maybe it it won't. Take take the video off. Hey, I'm only on my laptop. Um, sorry, I'm only on my mobile right now. Okay. Um, yeah. This might be better. I don't know. Okay. Harder so, to type. Okay. So it's, you're you're when you're in battle, in the astral. You're not. You're not leaving it behind. You're bringing it home with you. You got to ground yourself. Instead of bringing all that home, and you've got you've got to when you wake up, ground yourself immediately. And I don't know how how does she leave it behind, Phil? Instead of bringing it home. Just uh, set intentions. Yeah. Set intentions, definitely. Especially so, one of the cards is set intentions. Set intentions. So set, set a goal to, to make sure that you ground yourself before you arrive. So as you're arriving, ground the, uh, don't bring back anything. Yeah. I don't even know that I was kind of battling. You don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to. Yeah. Because when, when I was there, um, yesterday was the portal, so I, I would do a meditation and clearing and good work and everything on that day. But before I did that, I had uh, lots of downloads come in. Like com like it started with the, the wallet when I had my eyes closed. The wallet covered with lots of black letters, sigils, and then, and, you know, golden energy golden cold and then i'm jumping back and forth yeah. i'm seeing missiles flying and stuff and then i also saw a black screen black screen out so i don't even know like a lot of things happen i saw i saw a military lab and stuff like that these are all things that are just popping up in my vision visual but yeah, I, i'm getting you an embassy of sophia very i hope connected to sophia yes you she might be assigned that. here by Emerald Order, but yeah, you, you did she know that? Yes, I know. She, no, yes, I didn't she, know that. She knows that. <laughs> you you know that. You know that because you told me that. Did I so, tell you that? No, no, Victoria told me that. Okay, so yeah. you know this. So you mm. need just set the intentions that when you when all of these downloads or whatever you're getting is done, that you at the end of all of this, that you are ground, you ground yourself. Anytime that you get downloads or any type of work that you're doing in the astral, even if you don't remember it or you don't know what's going on, that your grounding is it set, set the intention that you're grounded before you, you come back or you wake up or whatever is going on so that you don't bring all of this with you. You're, it's right outside your safe zone you're in safe zone right now you're safe because you have all this protection around you and it's very important because as soon as you go back in the astral all of that is waiting for you and you don't want that 
Well, yeah, I was like wondering why is Iron Man coming into my house and why are yeah. these why are dragon well, breath going like, going like I said, me? like I said, connect to the emerald dragons. They're there to help you. They've only just arrived here this mm -hmm. year. So connect to them. They're, they're good battlers, high vibrational beings. I've I've done your cards, by the way. And oh, yeah. uh yeah, set your intentions. <laughs> yeah, set a goal, spiritual growth. Uh, choose your friends wisely so you might be getting new spiritual friends and uh, spiritual growth you, you know I how, how I know that I'm on my highest timeline here but how yeah. am I going to have my highest timeline if I am warring uh, am I not supposed to be not warring like this I shouldn't be it's a battle light between dark you got at the end Everyone of the day you're, you're probably helping out yeah. Well, yeah, I I see a lot of things these last few years, and compared to my 3D life here, it's completely different. Yeah, you just gotta kind join like... the join the fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I thought I I thought I placed um I thought I succeeded in my peace negotiation with them. Why am I still battling out there? Why are everybody, everybody is. So it's just my higher self doing that. It's you doing that. Your higher self is you. Okay. My higher self is helping me, yes. No, it's you. No, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> this avatar, I would consider a little different unless I am merged. You just couldn't fit, you couldn't fit all of it in. That's the only, only, only <laughs> difference. <laughs> You yeah. know, I've been seeing, I've been seeing uh, my tiger. I have a very large tiger pet, uh, one of my guardians. Very, protector, very long. Protector, protector. Protector. She's yeah. black and white and she has a mane. Well, I don't even know if it's a he or she. Um, well, she actually has like, you know, a horse mane on the back. And... I just call her, I just call him by the the Kunlun name Lofu, but she is huge and she's all black energy. What is the name, know. Nokma? Hey, what is the name, Lofu? I just call her Lofu. Lofu. What this is like Laofu. Yeah, Laofu. Okay, Laofu. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Well, Cantonese and Mandarin is different, so it doesn't really matter what I call. I call them babies anyway, so I call all of them babies. Okay. Okay. All the dragons I call babies, all my, you know, I treat them like babies. Okay. That's, all and right. um, there's no, no, no reason to give you healing because everything looks good, really mm. good. Um, so whatever you're doing, you're doing it right. So. Well, I was trying to keep the peace here and, um, you know, unify consciousness and have to not make enemies on the planet, if you know what I mean. Yes. And, and I so far gotten, well, I, I don't even know, um, did the negotiation go well? or did it not go well if they're, they're fighting on top like that because what what it's really weird I have a picture I can show you guys I'm like a dimension like when I take a picture there's another dimension there like literally is captured on the camera mm. well look, yeah uh, 3D and 5D are very very close now I'll bring between dimensions at the moment they've never been as close because mm -hmm. everyone's raising their vibration we we Sometimes we might even be in five D or three. That's why the that's why the time's going so fast. Yeah. When I went to um that state, it literally it blacked out. Like that meditative state, it was black. The whole screen went black. I mean, I so what I'm seeing is not what's happening necessarily in three D because I was looking at the missiles. Missiles went off yesterday, and I saw that. And, but I didn't um, know, I thought it was a 3D. So I checked it out this morning and missiles did go off. Uh, but I, that's the war on the 3D with Putin, you know, with the Middle East, right? But do you think that same war is in relation to the astral war or, or is that different? It's different. 
it's a mm. lot lot different yeah okay, okay. The, the astro war has been going on a long long time we're at the year now mm. all right all right let's move along here all right love you, you. darling stay safe vicky we will go to steven steven cigar oh me hey yeah. how are you <laughs> i'm okay how are you i'm uh i'm very good uh you know, I've been uh, just a little bio about me. I uh, I've been uh, following um, uh, David Starr's work for a little bit now, and then yeah. the other day I saw something here that uh, Philip had with him, and so I started going on Philip, and I'm like, holy cow! You know, we're Facebook friends, <laughs> you know. And I was like, man, why well, haven't I been seeing his stuff then? So I started liking all your stuff, and then all of a sudden I got this invite from you today, and I'm like, hey, why not? Let me let me check it out. I haven't seen anything um uh from uh rich and debbie is that what it was De Deborah? it's rick yeah it's rick yeah. yeah yeah and uh you know and it's and i saw the i read the bio on youtube and it sounded amazing and i'm like well i really i gotta jump in on this i gotta see okay. you know how this <laughs> thing works around. out we and just we just we I just don't that. post we don't post uh like david does we're old yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I get it. I get it. I feel fortunate for being here. You know, I appreciate the invite. You know? So uh, yeah, we, I, I, I figured so. it was an opportunity to jump in. I wanted to see it. So. I, I think me and Dave's done about 40 or 50 videos. So you could always yeah. go on my YouTube yeah. and subscribe. Yeah, I, I sure will. <laughs> he'll say, if I, he is, they still say it in my comments. Yeah, we have. They're they're yeah. competing on how many people follow their YouTube. No, I am. He is. We also have. We also have a YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. But we're not. We don't compete. No. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, we've uh, we've been around for a while. That's nice. Just, uh, nice. Like I said I just I don't I don't sit on on Facebook and talk all the time. That's yeah, I'm mesmerized by the gift you guys all have, um, and. You know, um, why I kind of come here, what I was kind of hoping for is, you know, I feel like when I'm in meditation that I leave my body, but yeah. I haven't quite opened my third eye to visualize anything. So I don't even know what's going on because I don't see anything. I'm just kicking around in the dark still, but I can really feel all that energies coming through me. And I was wondering if there was something that you could see that you need to unblock. Well, your Healing. third eye is what open. Is your third eye is I, open. Oh, I can feel the energy open. coming through it. I can, can feel the energy feel, coming through it. But that's but that's your gift. Is is you feel the energies. You don't necessarily have to see them. So you feel energy because you're an empath, and you, I, I feel energies. But you don't necessarily see them yet. That's a gift that will open up for you later. What you're, what's holding you back right now is trust. You okay. also channel. Do you know that you channel? No, I do not. Because you don't trust the messages yet. Okay. That was my. That was my biggest. Uh, that was the biggest downfall for me was when I first started was trusting the information that I was getting because I, a friend of, of when I first started, when we first got this information that he was a healer and that I was channeling, a friend of mine was channeling Archangel Michael and Archangel Michael was saying to me that I was a channeler. And I said, no, I am not mm -hmm. right? here. I'm telling Archangel Michael, you're crazy. I'm not a channeler. I can't channel. Yes, you can channel. No, I can't. And then all of a sudden, Jesus was stand in front of me with a top hat, dancing. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my brother. Oh, no way. Yes. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and that's when I said, oh, I can channel. But this was after weeks and weeks of saying, I can't channel. I can't channel. I wasn't trusting. Then I had to have uh -huh. this happen in front of me. It's, believe me, you can. You can feel energy. You can also channel energy because you're just, we are our own worst enemies when trusting the information we're getting. You mm -hmm. can walk into a room and you can feel people around you. You can tell if somebody is, yeah, 
deceiving you or not. You can tell. No, I can, I can feel people's energy. I, mm-hmm. I believe. I, I believe that almost everybody has that empath no. part of them. No. Oh, oh no. really? My sister oh. did be talking to the devil himself and not feel. Oh it. man. I no, had. A, I, I mean, when I was a kid, I could. I would pull her away from people I knew were going to hurt her. I had huh. to drag her away, and she'd go, "I'm just talking to him. He's really nice." Oh no, he's not. <laughs> Hmm. And I and I didn't know what that was. I don't I, mean, I was a kid. I was about 12 years old and pulling her away from a man I knew was gonna hurt her. Huh. But yeah, she didn't feel that energy. She still that to this day can't feel that energy. And but then no, that not everybody has that. Okay. So All right. no. uh so you as far as that. even when you were a kid, you had that. So um I mean I, I feel like I'm I really do trust though. I, I really do perfect love, perfect trust. I say it to, you know, I, that's like my mantra. Every time I go into meditation, every time I do anything, perfect love, perfect trust. Um, Sometimes um, you know, we get up here and then we talk ourselves out of it. So, all right. I have Jesus actually talking to me right now. And he says that many times he has given you messages and many times you've gotten messages, uh, and, I have. <laughs> and you have not believed it. You were actually channeled a message and didn't believe that you were channeled. It didn't come through as a channeled message. Okay. I mean, sure. sometimes the message that comes in is like a thought, and I don't know if I thought it or where it came from. So, That's channeling. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, um, okay. I don't know. It's, when the message comes through, it doesn't matter if you think, if you thought of it, but if, if it's something that you never would have thought of, that's a channeled message. Okay. All right. I always, always I see your ask, point. Yeah. Well, I always, when I first started out, I, uh, the message comes through and it's usually for somebody else. And when it comes through and it's for me, I always know who it is now, but when I first started, I have to ask, what is it? What is it coming through? What I want to, uh, not who is giving me this message, what is giving me this message? Because it could be a consciousness, it could be an Arcturian consciousness, or the, um, but I want to know who, what is giving me this message. And then, I, then I'll get who would, you know, who it is exactly or what it is. Oh, really? Oh, mm-hmm. okay. No, I I guess that's something I never thought about when I I get a message and say where does it come from. Yep. Um, you want to know? Well, I guess I have because there's sometimes afterwards I guess that it's worked out and I was like, where did that idea even come from? I mean, yeah. you know, was that my idea or was that somebody else's idea that was put in don't, my head? Don't um, think about it. Don't think in here. Don't think in the brain. Think in your. Okay. Heart. Always think from here. Heart. Even yeah. all the messages come from here. They don't come from the head. They come from here. And that's okay. where you have to start realizing that's where it's all coming from. Everything, all the tools, all the information, all the messages come from there. Energies walk by you and come into your field. Because six feet around us is our auric field. So when uh-huh. you're channeling and they come into your auric field, it feels like they're right next to you. But they're actually within, they come just into your sex, within the six feet radius. It'll be their yeah. energy. Mm-hmm. And you'll know who it is. If it's Archangel Michael, if it's your, I mean, it could be a, a dead relative. It's yeah. Me too. All right. Well, now, you had said that eventually I will be able to visual, have visualization. Can, can we try, eye. can we it's try, awesome. can we try and open it tonight? Yeah. Sure. I, yeah, right. I would like Do, to. What I've been told right you're quite a, an ancient soul you you are like you've got like an aspect it's like a greek demigod like a sorcerer you've got all that in uh i have thing, a sorcerer that's a um you know a spirit guide of mine um, yeah yeah that's an aspect as well it's part of your oversoul okay it might be a, a, spirit, okay. a guide but your guide and an aspect partly merge with them because you accept them and you, you could get quite powerful if you know what i mean uh, the other thing is, I don't want to promote Sophie's video, but I've do, we put a video on my YouTube this week. I'm not promoting it. It's just that I think 
if you it's awake in your essential limitations it's an hour and 11 minutes long it is a pain to listen it is horrible i i listen yeah. to it did you listen yeah. to all of it? I did. I had <laughs> ringing in my ears for a day. <laughs> yeah. It's really good, though. Yeah. So <laughs> Sophie told me, don't don't drive while you're listening to it. Because we both did it. My light language and angelic tongue was in it. So we both did it together. And the first thing I did was get in the car and, and listen to it. <laughs> oh, man. I, I didn't crash. So I was okay. <laughs> man. I, I was telling my wife about it. I said, listen to this thing. It's crazy. They talk it up and saying, be careful, yada, yada, yada. And then all of a sudden it kicks, because I have my headphones on, it kicks in. And I'm like, whoa, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. You guys definitely weren't overselling it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had, I've had people that said that they felt sick or they had fear. They, they, they used it continually and they had fear at past three. I said, that's good. It's bringing it to the surface. If you get a reaction to it, that's what needs to be released. It's like a layer. So listening to that might help open your third eye as well. You might just have one layer. It just needs covering up. It is uh, open. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what it I mean is, is not fully. You get one, yeah. it's open, yeah. but it might just clear uh -huh. the, the, the yeah, mind. It's something. It's, something. It's, your mind, it's your mind. Yeah, I'm talking. It's your mindset that's making it. It's your thinking in here too much. And then you think, is that, is that me? I get, when I got a message about your Greek, your sorcerer Greek, God, sort of a demigod. I got told five times. I got Greek okay. three times. And all of a sudden, I think, well, that, that must be it then, because <laughs> that's not coming from yeah. me. <laughs> uh, yeah. One way is forgiveness. Don't have any, but you know, you know the score if you've been listening to, to David. Don't, don't have any anger or any trauma in your life. Just release it all. Yeah. And uh, connect with nature more. Yeah, enchantment, that's your inner child. Connect with your inner child. Mm -hmm. your, your magic of your inner child, that's it. Connect with nature more and manifestation. You a lot. Do you talk to Jesus a lot? Me? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, he he is one of my spirit guides. Uh, so he's, um, he's definitely with you a lot, yeah. He is with me a lot. You're, you're exactly right. Uh, he is definitely with me a lot. Um, so uh, I am very blessed for that. Yeah, he, he, he really is. <laughs> he's, he's right. He actually, I had a session with David and Jesus came through and said um, <laughs> that we were friends. Me and Yeshua was friends. He says, you know, because he basically said, oh, I'm a friend of Stephen. Oh, and I was like, heck I yeah. Think, I, think in one of, <laughs> I think you actually had a lifetime with Jesus when he was not Jesus. He had, he had, because he's. Oh, really? He, he has reincarnated right. their lifetimes on earth as a, and I think you were, you had a lifetime with him. You were related. Wow. Oh man. That, I was, would, I was that getting would make a, sense. I was actually getting a brother. Um, yeah. That's, that's what I was yeah, getting brother. Yeah, yeah. You were brother. Oh man. Oh, man that gives me chills yeah. up my spine. But Which I couldn't work. I, I couldn't work out because it wasn't the brothers that I've heard about. <laughs> uh -huh. so, yeah. Yeah. So you did have a lifetime together, which is why I think um, he, he, you are, he's part of your spirit guide. You are in the same family. Soul family. Mm -hmm. Soul family. Oh, man, that is awesome. No, I can say I can see why he's been around so much then. Well, yeah. No, well, I mean, I always ask for him, too. You know, so, I mean, he is an ascended master. And, yeah, he's... You know, and knowing that he's one of my spirit guides, obviously I, I Stephen, ask him for help all Stephen, the time. Stephen, you're yeah. an ascended master. Yes, previous. yes, that's true. That's you knew true. that. I knew I that would be magic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so am I. But oh well, we all squeezed in this little avatar to get here, didn't we? To help us. Mm -hmm. so you might be part of the uh, Emerald Order then, if you're trying to wake people. So you, that, you need to really get that spiritual growth in there, yeah, to, to help the planet, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my intentions. I, you know, um, you know, I, I feel like I have a purpose, uh, a part to play, and um, I haven't quite fully got there yet to my full potential, but I think I'm. I just keep getting one step forward. Keep going a little further. They've just given you a, a, an emerald Jesus dragon. Says, Jesus hmm? says, you're fine. Don't you worry about it. Because remember, all of us, our energy, 
goes 36 miles, 18 miles. I mean, you're, you're lifting the vibration as you, as you lift your vibration, you're lifting that 18 mile around us. Wow. The higher okay. you go, it, the, the further out you're lifting the vibration. Mm -hmm. so okay. You, you don't think that you're not doing anything. All right. Um, well, you know, I have this feeling that because see, I, um, I'm a big component of plant medicine. And I feel plant medicine is a tool to help people. Uh, I think it was part of my spiritual growth using plant medicine to help get further into my meditation and be able to teach me. But you, if you practice it outside of the medicine, it, that's where it's important. You do, you use the medicine and then practice what you were taught in the medicine outside of it. And I think that that, is part of what I'm supposed to be doing is kind of spreading that knowledge of it's okay to yeah. use that as a tool, you know, and, um, you know, and just to show uh, them how to get in, you know? Yeah. I, I use their energy, the, the spirits of the plant medicine to stop dark forces. And I've connect, I've actually had meetings with them. So next time you do plant medicine, try and connect with the actual spirits. You won't, you won't trip or anything. You'll you'll do it and ask them. You, you'd be like having a meeting with. Uh, no, I have. Robert. I do. Yeah, I do. do. That's that's the main reason. That's the main times where I really have are able to to conversate mm. with um, with spirit. Um, yeah. You know, in uh, meditation, I have a hard time hearing them. And just like we had talked about before, some of the times it's just an idea that comes to me, and I didn't thought it was just an idea and I didn't know whose idea it was, you know, mm -hmm. dropped into my head. And all of a sudden I thought, well, this is what I'll do. And then after it worked out, it's like, wait a minute, did I come up with that? <laughs> no. I, I, I was getting attacked by a cult uh, last year and I used the plant roots, the spirits to stop mm -hmm. them and they stopped them. And it was amazing to see it in remote viewing. It was amazing. I, yeah, I actually, I mean, I didn't mean to cut you off. I, Go on. Uh, I'm an addict, and um, I used uh, plant medicine um, to help get me off of it. And one time, I was uh, really struggling. I had six months clean, and I really just didn't want to fail. And all I just kept hearing those voices in my head. You know, my wife was getting ready to leave this to later on, and I was like, "Yo, this is when we can go do it. Nobody's gonna know." Yada yada yada. And I hurried up, and I went upstairs, and I and I used it. It was the second that I used it, it felt like this laser light went from the head of my, to the top of my head, all the way down to my feet and it was gone. And I could, I just, I sat there and cried. I, I know, I knew from that point on that I was but, never going to have a struggle with my, with yeah, my addiction. What, what that was, it wasn't your addiction. What it was, that's your weak point. And the dark ones know how powerful you are and they attack you with this addiction thing. I had a gambling problem and what i did my anger in my soul frozen in my timeline four dark controllers i saw them and they froze and then a medium came about a year later and told me there's four beings stuck in your timeline they want to get released so i had oh, some, me and david actually got together secretly and we released it to source but uh, hmm. i didn't even know the medium she had a message to take. Oh, he, man. He wanted to release That's... it. And they were like, oh. you know, the Star Wars, the, 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 the Star Wars, they were like Star Wars beings, the dark beings. They were just like that. I thought it was so funny. Mm -hmm. But the anger in the soul got rid of them. I've been told that uh, you, can, you can have an emerald dragon called Michael. I don't know why Michael. <laughs> I don't know who Michael <laughs> But yeah, you can. You can access an emerald dragon. They are dipped from the divine 18D, so you can access that. But I'm glad you, you sorted that out. You sorted it your So way. you're saying that my emerald dragon would be Michael? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. you can call him Michael. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's cool. Well, that's my middle name, and, you know. There you go. <laughs> Archangel, Mike, Archangel Michael had helped me out in the past at one other yeah. time. So, well, yeah, hey. he, he's helped me uh, twice, and he tells me every time I see him. <laughs> yeah that's yeah, funny but yeah you, i thank you, you guys i appreciate yeah. you thank so, you so yeah you're, you're here you've got a major job for it. you're signed by emerald order like a lot of us are ex ascended master do your job that's all 
listen to mm-hmm. that listen to that sound every now and again because every time you listen to it, it it'll take the layers off oh hold oh, on okay hold on we got two minutes and yeah i've sent some healing to try and open this more yeah have we got time yeah okay. but i wanted to let you know that you chose this addiction for this for your experience in this lifetime yes i do i do i believe that and it's been very challenging and i feel that the struggle that i had is for a reason um, yeah the, the other thing is because you've had that as a, a test the dark ones made it worse they knew that was your right. weak point, so they make it a lot, lot worse than what it should have been. Right. Yeah. But you also chose to conquer that, yeah, and, and so you have conquered it. But you, you, you did choose the experience. You chose to, yes. show, as an example, to help others how to conquer it. So mm-hmm. you've already conquered this battle. Right. You won't have the issues anymore. No, no, I won't. <clears throat> I not, definitely don't have the struggles that I had. It's, no, it was, it's been amazing ever since that moment. Um, it's been amazing. Can you feel that, by the way? Or not? I do feel a little vibration on my hands right now. But his healing energy is a vibration, and you're, it actually you may feel even like electricity oh. going through you. The healing that you may feel from okay. Rick, from Rick, is, I, Rick's is more like warm water going through you. It's, it's, it's God that creators is warm water. It's white diamond light. Philip, it comes from various places, different, different <laughs> places, mm-hmm. different places like the higher dimensions and the emerald order, and it's it's more like an electricity. It's a in a vibration. You, you probably feel it in your forehead where you, yeah. Uh, we, we're trying to connect that yeah, to yeah. you to the, uh, to as the soon as I close my eyes, as soon as I close my eyes, all of a sudden I felt like just energy right here. Yeah, good. You just got downloads of symbols going into your, your, your third eye. I don't know what they are. Right. Oh. Thank you, Philip. Yeah. Thank you. And Deb. Right. Rick. <laughs> I can I said, see Rick. what's going on. He's actually doing this. Yeah. Okay. How you feel? Feels can good. You see Feels can you good. see that? Can you see tonight's lottery numbers? <laughs> 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 Thank, Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Dad, I really watch it. Drink a lot of water. Yeah. This I uh, do. The healing energy stays with you for seven days, so it continues. And continues. Oh, really? Oh, oh nice. yeah. You know, every time I've done these classes with David or whatever, and he says, "Oh, we got hit with a bunch of energy," it's almost like uh, twelve hours later, all of a sudden, it's just boom. I'm just like I get hit with something. I'm like, woo. <laughs> yeah, it well, continues and continues. So it's it's pretty so, powerful. Sometimes your this overthinking probably slightly blocks this coming in, and then when you relax, it comes in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like waiting for a train. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I did another card. Yeah, you're gonna get a load of signs now. Could be oh. dreams. Could be anything. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you, Steven. Thank you. We go to the next one. Dana Krieger. Dana. 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 She stepped away from me. You're not around. There she is. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was right. I couldn't get back to the screen. The um um I was like kind of meditating here and then when you called me 
I was like trying to get to the screen and I think I was just anxious and messing up as I was pressing buttons. Sorry about that. That's okay. That's okay. So um, I'm sort of, um, I would say new to this, but not new to this at all. Um, if that makes sense, sure it does. Um, no. I just, uh, a, a couple of years ago, um, I, I've had a lot of traumas um, during my life. Um, and somehow or another, I just pushed through that. Um, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. It's okay. Oh, I've got Mother Mary with you. Last couple of years have been tough. Okay. Pretty. Um, and I've been doing a lot of healing sessions, but I feel like that I have a hard time integrating. So I feel like really good at the moment and directly after, but then like, I just have a tough time integrating. Um, but, um, and I guess like the last two sessions I've had um, of healing sessions, um, like the next day it was like weird, bizarre, unfortunate stuff has happened to me, which seems like sort of strange. Um, but I feel like I have, um, I just have chronic pain, um, in my body. Um, and I feel like maybe I just, I just have things stuck. Um, just, I'm not really sure exactly Can what it is. I ask you a few going. questions? Sure. Have you been physically abused? Yes. Yeah. Several times? Yes. Um, and you have to, I you guess have I had to explain like anything because so I'm, 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 seeing, I'm seeing that's okay. I'm seeing a lot of trauma there and I don't think you've been healed from it. So that's why I'm seeing a lot of trauma. There is, um, there are portals in your, where you, uh, you, is that your home that you're in now? Yes. Cause I see portals in there and I also see. The reason you have not healed is because there are entities that are continuing to traumatize you and remind you of all this. So we have to get rid of the entities. Okay. And then we have to heal you from all the traumas. Have you tried? Uh... Have you tried forgiving yourself, forgiving the beings that did this? Have you tried all that? Yes. Yeah. So you know the score, how it works, because the, the trauma holds and it just gets bigger and it gets painful and it's in your heart chakra and you just got to Jeez. remove it. I think we have to yeah, get, get rid of the, the nasty thing. Okay. Um, did you get, um, you know, the, the, the things that we went through the last four years? <laughs> we can't say it on here. I know. Did you happen to to comply with the um, mandates that some areas forced on people? Or yes, did, you did. Yes. How many? How many? Okay. How many times? Um. What you don't want me to say? That, no, like, I'm not, just say two, quantity. Two, two, two. Okay, right. because we'll get um. Yeah. And stuff, so. We got permission to re reverse any negative energies in you. Okay. Do we yeah. have your permission to reverse the? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Well, I've got a deal. I've got to go in your 11th chakra, get your blueprint from the Akashic, join with my aspect, which is a crystal source being, read it, get the anti, anti version. And then it'll go through your bloodstream. So you might feel like a, an energy going right down as it's going through your, your blood. Right, okay. So, you know, you have um, what that causes is. Um... I don't think you can say it in here. <laughs> Im implants. 
in your body. Yeah, yeah. And they that puts them in control, which which is why you're not getting better. And they feed off your. They feed uh, off your energy. Yeah, well, they feed the the the, the you know like your that's your kryptonite, so they use it against you. Yeah. So. You've got past life in these healing as well. You feel anything yet? Um like I'm, it started out with my head and like my face, um, yeah. like just like tingling and, um, making some shifting, um, yeah, and sort of um, now in my hands. Yeah, we just healed, me too. Yeah, you got hung when you were twelve in previous life. Uh, he had a lot of trauma, a lot of uh, soul fragments just needed repairing, and that's what you feel in that energy. So, as we went into the Akashic to read it, we, we caught that part, so we revealed that part. You feel that? Yeah. Controlling cord. You had a controlling cord in your head that's been cut. And a friend of mine's eating it now. You also had like a black octopus, if you get what I mean, spiritual. bit of a battle going on there. Oh. It's over. Even okay. going on your back, by the way. Just let it all go. Three implants in the tracker. One, one in your arm.
How are you feeling? Good. A lot, a lot was released. Uh, a lot, yeah. lot, some stuff on your back actually was uh, released. You might feel a backache. Yeah. Uh, I drink water now. <laughs> or oh, soon after now. Did he? Did it all go, Linda? Uh, Dad. There was about sixty on my team helping you there. Thank you. Some of the A-list, some of the what we you, you had like Orion stuff on you. Yeah. Mm. There's a little bit of a battle going on. I don't know if you felt it. Matt felt it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like like a lot of times during my healing sessions, um, like I resisted, like my yeah. Like I can't, yeah. I can't like lay still. Like I'm you, just. You didn't moving. really. You didn't resist it. They, they resisted. resisted. It. I don't think that they realized what they what they needed to do. But um. <laughs> they were healing your physical. They didn't realize about the implants. Or something. Implants can manipulate your mindset and everything, and feed you loads yeah. of rubbish and give you negative. Make you ill. Make you have a bad back. Like I think you had got one. Yeah. Because I've got one now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it comes over to me. <laughs> That's how I know what's wrong with you. I get the uh, energy from it. The the cards, by the way. You've got a support team. Connect with them in meditation. You, with them. And you are an aspect of Mother Mary, which is yeah. the divine complement of Archangel Raphael. So you are actually a healer yourself. Who's Raphael? <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, I feel. I feel like I heal. I can heal people. I, I have yeah. healed people. Yes. The yeah. new law. That's, that why, they, that, that's yeah. why they were trying to take you down because they don't want you doing that. Mm -hmm. That's why they were trying to hold you back. So. So, this new love. This could be. Uh, this could be uh, spiritual, divine love from what you just said. Or it could be someone else coming on the line, but I think it could be on the spiritual side because it's spirit. And uh, you'd start listening. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> listen start to, listening to them. To yourself, to your inner voice, to and trusting yourself. So any messages that you get that you doubt, messages come from the heart, so not from the ego. They come from inside here. And trust them. Trust your intuition your messages if you want to call them intuition or creator or you know your other aspects of yourself that come through your higher self trust those because they're you know when people second guess that's when things get bad <laughs> things get screwed up don't ever second guess I always go with what the first message you get um what about the portals yeah, we haven't done them. You just got to download uh, to help you on your healing. So you might feel different now because the back of your net is the input point. So it might be more active and a, a protection around you. Yeah, the portals, I forgot about them. Yeah. Getting the full lot. <laughs> and and uh, um, you had a great deal of healing from creator to your heart. Have you got All two mirrors facing one. each other? Oh, yeah. Do you have two mirrors facing each other? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting told. You don't. That's you the do? Portal. Yeah. Oh, they're they're able to face each other. Do they actually see each other? Can they actually shine against each other? They can if if I move them that way. They're they're vanity mirrors. Yeah. So when in you the open in the bathroom, oh, yeah. So, so I can see. So I can see like the back of me. Yeah. Yeah, when, they, when happens, they open, when they open, they they can face each other. But mm. that opens portals. That's why I was told. I was told. Never just, ending. Yeah, just check. There's no mirrors, and if if that is, try and do a way where they don't face each other. Okay. See how you can do that. Yeah, I know, yeah I know that you want to see the back here. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny because um, like five minutes before this session. Um, I was upstairs and I got that message. It's the mirror mirrors. It's so <laughs> strange. You. It's so weird that I I got that message. Well, I've been getting that message for a long time, but I want to see the back of my hair. 
so I, I you, didn't know if I you were listening. It. You were listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's the mirrors. You're opening portals. It's the mirrors. You're opening portals. It's the mirrors. You're opening portals. <laughs> Eventually, it comes in. <laughs> yeah. When you do that, you open portals, and they're not good portals. <laughs> Here, come on in, guys. Come on in, guys. Come on in. <laughs> Just cover, cover it. It's a free for all. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Never mind the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me, me dragon's closed any portals now but just be careful you don't create more <laughs> now what now what can you like do pe like can you use a mirror to see the back of your hair or ne never 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 oh don't, my god don't, don't do that <laughs> it's okay you oh don't see god. it yourself yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that yeah <laughs> I don't know how you get away with that. I don't care what the back of my head looks like. <laughs> yeah, you know, after that, after that, yeah, got that right. Mm. I don't have to look at it. Yeah. Everybody else does. Right, right. <laughs> take a picture with your phone and, and look at it. Yeah, take a picture with your yeah. phone. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Okay. All right. I have to. Do I'm not sure with that, Deb. I'm not hundred percent with that. I don't know. <laughs> Theoretically, is mirror static, but it'd be too quick. I'm no, sure. but don't don't be in the mirror when you're doing it. Yeah. Take a picture yeah. from the mirror. All oh, right. Got yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's my me thinking, overthinking it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Um, and that amazing. Your advice was exactly what you were told t t half an hour ago, was it? An hour it's ago? so funny. Yeah, yeah. Because I was looking. Because I was looking. <laughs> As a, yeah, because I was in there, and I. I mean, I. But I've been receiving that message for a while, but I don't. Because you've been opening that door. Yeah. <laughs> the door. Mm. Yeah. I have a tough time listening. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you don't often get an angel coming through a mirror. <laughs> it has to be a bit dark. Yeah. Yeah, angels aren't vain. They don't care about mirrors. Mm. Bitches warn you, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, so, so you're so, Mother Mary. So you, and I would focus on on uh, on the healing, becoming the healer that you are. And, and connect and, um, connect with the being that gave you that message. Mother Mary. Yeah, good for you. Is that Mother Mary? Again? Yeah, she's with you all the time. Mm. Well, that was new divine love, wasn't it? The, the card yeah. said so. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. 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 And the, and the color green, the healing color, emerald green, is uh, definitely your color. Mm. I see her all around you. Mm. Very nice. All right. Thank you, Dana. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Dana. Thank you. Dana, Dana. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we go to um, the next one, Kendra. Kendra L. Oh, yeah. Kendra. I'm actually going to find a phone charger, but... Um. I actually got a message for Dana uh, while you guys were talking to her about the trauma that make sure she doesn't have any physical in her life that remind her of the trauma. Yeah. It'll keep, it'll keep it going. Yeah. That's, that's tough. Um, that's tough. You said keep someone in my life that's related to the trauma. No, make sure you don't have any physical things in your life that remind you of the trauma. Yeah. If you're kind of... Well, yeah. I've been working on that. Yeah. It's tough mm -hmm. because yeah. I sort of, um like two years ago, I had like a flashback of like a lot of traumas that I had suppressed. Um, and when I came forth to my family, like nobody believes me. Um, But I had to go and do what I had to do um, 
as far as um create boundaries with people. Um, but yeah, it's that's a tough one for me. Yeah, family can keep it going. Also, that's why I don't live near my family most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I've tried to connect with you, that that being that you were. I know it's a bit extra. Uh, I tried to get back your fragment. You still have a, a few soul fragments in all these traumas that you got to bring back. So I've tried to bring one back. So you might feel different tomorrow. But yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sorry, I've gotten to your time there. <laughs> it's okay. It's needed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm, you're welcome. All right, Kendra. Another silly comment while I'm getting ready to sit down is that we went to the Titanic Museum in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. and, you know, museums are a path and you just walk, you walk the path. And yeah. at one point you walk into this little corridor and the two gigantic mirrors, probably 10 feet tall and seven feet wide, seeing each other. What were these, Sarah? <laughs> there were two mirrors facing each other <laughs> tall and six feet wide and i looked and i looked again and my son was in there i was like oh my god get out of there <laughs> <laughs> yeah i walked into hobby lobby and um i had never been in a hobby lobby until we moved here i was so excited <laughs> and then i walked down the mirror aisle and i went no they're all facing each other this whole aisle I said, well, I'm leaving this store right now. It's like, get, it's like when you get an air cut and you're looking at a mirror, you're looking at a mirror behind you. <laughs> yeah. all, I kept, all I kept thinking about is they need Ghostbusters here. Yeah. Right? I, I, I must be the only one calls in my team just to have an air cut. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Guard me. Well, I'm having my air cut. Kendra, what are we doing for you today? What's going on? Well, I kind of planned on working on my spinal fluid, but if you're doing channeling too, I mean, I need lots of help. So. <laughs> What's up with your spine then? You're obviously injured. Then. <laughs> your angels just said she sure does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked for everything to stop. I mean, we were talking a lot when I lived in North Carolina and yeah. then I moved to Michigan. And I had, um, I got to Michigan in the end of August and in September I had a grandparent pass away. And then December I had a grandparent pass away. January, grandparent passed away. And just, I had so much other things going on that I just asked everything to stop. And I think about four months ago, um, I felt it coming back and I said, okay, it's a good time. Let's do this. And then Spirit told me to contact Deb and I'm like, okay, let's talk. <laughs> so then I've been contacting you and, and joining some meetings and learning, getting some more information. Yeah. But you're back, you're back in uh, the Carolinas, aren't you? Yeah. We moved to Myrtle beach. Um, right now I'm at my mom's house in Michigan. We're here for about a month. So my stepfather passed away in February. Yeah, I remember I'm that. It's crazy, but yeah. So, so that's why you're in the bus. Yeah, we so. we we bring the bus to Michigan like twice a year, summer and Christmas. So, I'll I'll do the cards quickly. Uh, that's what you got. You got Michael. He's showing himself as courage. Yeah. So he's giving you courage. Emerging and power. Uh, you like the power of the creator. Yeah. Is everything good on that? Yeah. Emerging. I think you can get at Michael's help. Yeah. Well, Michael's saying, Michael's saying it's because you you when you go back there you become vulnerable to michigan yeah yeah i completely shut down when i came back to michigan 
Uh, well, this time too, he says, when you go back to where you're from, you become vulnerable. It's like you become this little girl and it's time to stay and stand in your power and, and defeat all of the monsters because it, you're not a little girl anymore. You, you are a woman and you, it, it's not the same anymore. The monsters, aren't, the monsters aren't there anymore. Yeah. And with my stepfather passing away, that was one big monster. So, <laughs> the, the immersion is basically you. You within you, you've got a very big gift that you can. It's emerging. That's what it's meaning. Yeah. So it's it, very there's out. no reason to be vulnerable. There never was a reason to be vulnerable because it you only you only put up with the things you allow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't allow it. And remember, you're awesome. Yeah. That's what emerging means, awesome. Yeah. It's, you just got to remember that. Yeah. yeah. The people, people sit back, especially women, we put up with so much crap. We really do. Well, I don't know. Not, not I me. Think, I don't. I, I, do. I think, I think yeah. men do put up with crap. <laughs> I most might be biased. Do. I might be biased. No, most women do, but I mean, I, I'm not one of the women that do. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Yeah. <laughs> I did when I was younger, but but as I got older, I didn't. I I I I had a very abusive first marriage, but I mean, but I see a lot of women that do, and and I I just don't. We we have to stand in our power because people will take advantage, especially a single mother. Yeah, and that was another small question: is that I kind of gave up on finding a partner or a, you know and last time I talked to Sasha he said I would meet someone and I was like oh no I don't want to talk about this <laughs> but the thing is the timeline can change when you change you, you change your mind you know you, you're going to go one way and then all of a sudden well this looks better oh that looks better oh that looks better <laughs> change the timelines when you change your mind so I, ju I just uh wondered what the cards say Answered prayers. There you go. <laughs> Archangel Michael wants to know why yeah. you feel that you need a man to, to, to make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. I don't, and I haven't for years, but I still receive messages that I'm supposed to have a partner in and that I'm supposed to show someone a happy home life or something, and that's part of my mission, and I'm, I don't know. <laughs> that card says your prayers are being answered. So... But remember, the vibration you're in is the vibration you meet. So make sure you're in a good vibration. <laughs> yeah. Well, Archangel Michael is saying that stay focused for you and your and your boys, and never mind what's going on. Just as long as as long as you are making yourself happy, and you're happy in what your situation is, and you're standing in your power, and you're staying in your heart, everything will fall into place. Whether there's supposed to be a man in your life or not, why worry about it? Because I'd met someone, but he's so opposite of me that I kind of want to call it off half the time. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, this is the person Sasha told me I was going to meet. So I was like, am I supposed to give it a try? <laughs> Stop worrying I don't know. about it. If it's, if it's supposed to work out, then it will. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. Stop worrying. Just make sure you're not giving away your power and that you're happy in what you're doing. That's all. Yeah. Everybody makes it so difficult. Don't make it so difficult. One day at a time. One minute at a time. One hour at a time. <laughs> However it is, just do that. Yeah. Stop worrying about it. Be happy. Yeah. If the boys are happy and you're happy, then... Life is good. Yeah. That's pretty much where I'm at right now. So. Mm. Health-wise? Do you have a pain good. here? Do you have a pain here on the side of your head? Both. Usually in the back of my neck. My neck okay. always has it. And well, that's from this. This. Everything. That's uh, this. The phone. 
It your hurts. Head's down. Your head's down doing this. Did you say or you need your spinal repair? So maybe you got to lay back and do this. <laughs> and balance it out. <laughs> I work on stuff too because I'm in college again now. So, um, yeah, last time I spoke with you guys, um, and I've heard this more than once, but there's something in my spinal fluid. You guys said you saw something dark, um, and I've heard it from other people multiple times. So, you still there? Okay. Yeah. All right, remember that video. <laughs> Clears all this stuff. Okay, let's do this. There's something on the side of your face. I don't know why it's come up to me now. You ever done the borax? Hmm? Have you ever done borax? You know, 20 no. meal team bore team? No. Mm. I have heard of it, and then other people are like, it's a chemical. Why would you do that? And I just never really looked at it. It's not a chemical. It. It's mind it's not. Tibet. It's mind in Tibet. <laughs> used to be it used to be in our water, borum. Borum is called or something. It used to be in our water before they stopped it, stopped it and put fluoride in our water. You know how great fluoride is. Eh. No, fluoride is toxic. Yeah. And it allegedly. <laughs> You never know where you choose. It's not alleged, but allegedly. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it used to be in our water. But um, actually, borax removes all the metals and toxins in your body. Yeah. So, very uh, highly uh, recommended. Pinch in very tiny amount. Very tiny it, amount. Are you connected to Deb? Yeah, on they, Facebook they, or something. I'll I'll, I'll I'll send you I'll send you a pamphlet and a post in the video. I think does she, don't you follow Philip? No. Uh, Facebook. I don't know. Oh, I think uh, the, yeah, she I, follows me. Yeah. Deb and I saw it in uh, Home Depot. They carry it. Home Depot. Yeah. Is it? I've seen it at Walmart, and I I actually picked up the box and like looked at the ingredients to be. Like, yeah. You know, is there extra stuff in it? You know, I just hadn't made up my mind yet. So. Mm. It works. Okay. I actually started, that's how I started losing weight. Really? Just letting stuff go. I've had it for three years. I Obviously, because I'm on, I, I only bathe in it. <laughs> I, I drink, you drink it too. You get your tea. I'm kidding. <laughs> but I was doing 32 ounces, a quarter teaspoon and 32 ounces of water, put a little juice in so you don't taste it. Because it, it, I mean, it's, it doesn't taste great. It, it it gets rid of the fungi and bacteria and parasites, which allegedly parasites could create a big thing, which I can't say on this one. But I give it the dog. I give it my dog now once a week. <laughs> and he's fifteen. He's supposed to. He's supposed to only live till the forty. So. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. I'm just. I'm tired. I don't want to buy another dog. <laughs> 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 That's the only reason. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be a world record beater, he is. Right, can you feel the energy down your spine? Yeah. I'm getting a message, connect with your inner child. Do a bit of play, play, play a bit. Like you're a child again. You look like you're going to fall asleep. Does that energy feel good? Creators put energy through your third eye and in through your crown and through your heart. All right. How are you feeling? Drink a lot of water. Everybody that's had healing today 
seven days, this last seven days, drink lots of water, bless your water. Feel really calm. Like, thank you guys. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Kendra. We'll go to Maggie. Maggie, do you want me to send? Do you want me to send? Do you want me to send some energy to your battery? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Go, Maggie. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can yeah. hear. Her. Okay. Oh, by the way, people, Maggie needs a a place to live. She lives it. She's right now in Louisiana. She needs a home. We need to pay yes. and light. She is trying to legally become a stay in America. She's she's uh been find she's uh staying with someone who has no room <laughs> and has to take care of her child. Um, right now it's the person that sent that gate that brought her over to the United States. Uh, it became a very difficult situation. So Maggie is here. Her passport has expired. Has it expired? In October. We're expiring in October. October. Um, and because she's trying to do it legally, of course, the United States doesn't doesn't ever want to do it legally. Yeah. <laughs> they only want the illegals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, she's trying to do it legally, and they're giving her a hard time. And Even the German embassy, so... Yes. Now it gets even worse because they say to me it's 10 to 12 weeks to get the new passport, but I didn't have the possibility to apply before to, to renew. I just can do now. And um, I spoke to them uh, the day before yesterday, and they told me that I say to them, what can you do? Because my visa expired on the 12th of September. I cannot stay here to wait for my passport. And then they say to me, oh, this is easy. If you pay 33 euro, uh, dollars more, we make express. I say, yes, of course. <laughs> Was not other to expect. <laughs> and here I am, unbreakable, unshakable, alone in the park. Oh, no, there are three people around here yeah it is yeah uh, i don't know anything you guys can tell me anything yeah. should be released just remove anything because i am she... ready for anything yeah she yeah she needs set a, a goal set, set a goal study a, a different direction study into something different and um and balance will be within you yeah um so you need to set a, a goal. You yeah. need to study that goal. In other words, when it means study, you've got to like find something else, you know, some, a new skill, basically. Yeah. Well, I would love to do that, but uh, I cannot ask anyone to teach me anything just for free. So, and I, uh, everywhere I lived here in America, in Michigan and here, we live outside from the city, what I am very happy because in Malta I was seven years without uh, nature. But I don't have the possibility to look for a job. And it's also difficult because you cannot just approach people and ask, hey, can you give me a job and pay me just so? You never know who you are talking about. I, I make some contacts, but until now didn't come anything out. To be honest, my dream is to have the possibility to find a way to get to Costa Rica. But I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm confused because I came here and now I'm here and I don't know what to do. And yesterday well, I Did you hear the cards then? You got to set a goal. You got to set a goal in a direction. Yeah. Set intentions. Okay. Can, you, I, can you can as you, Kendra you, said, YouTube University. You know, you you gotta find the way. Yeah. I don't know if something is blocking the way. Yesterday I listened to feel um uh, audio about a video about uh, release 
um not release the one prayer for to the yeah. prayer i listened yesterday it was very good yeah. and i am doing any time i can i i'm doing decrease i'm doing whatever i am guided to decrease uh, uh, releasing things, doing rituals, but now it's difficult because I cannot do there. I just can do in the park and I have to come here when there's no board around because it's quite busy in the afternoon and in the morning. But I'm doing what I can. I just like to know if there's anything that I, I should release to to because somehow I need I I, I wish to understand why is in this situation now because I have no place to go and I have to go to somewhere. So doesn't look really nice. Remember you get a set intentions. Okay, yeah. I will. Uh, and do study. You can do study three. Yeah. Angel Michael says, I haven't let you down. Just sending you, I'm just getting your vibration to be a bit higher. I try to be positive. I try, no. Uh, somehow I am calm. It's, not, yeah. it's um, not remaining positive. It's remaining in gratitude. It's all. Yeah, it's, I am. It's, Okay. I am, but I, I thought the leap of faith I took that will bring a change, but it's getting yeah. tired the word now. The wording needs changing. Trying is not the correct word. Yeah, I am positive. Yeah, that's the change. Trying to be positive, you'll never be positive. You've got to say to yourself, I am positive. Yeah, I, I, I write almost a book here for my affirmation, and I, I do... I am positive, but somehow it's taking too long. But, but, but. It's taking too long with, because of the word but. Can I get rid of all that? Yeah. Still, I, I, I'm not an angel, and sometimes it gets too hard to, to stay on track. Because this is a lot, a lot. I, I take a leap of faith to leave Malta and I say, okay. And I leave the first six months doing what I could to get through. But my body told me it's time to move on because I was living in the, the hospital because of the patient. Since I leave the place where I was, I feel healthy. I don't, I, I don't have... I don't feel anything. I don't even this need. Here they were cutting the lawn, uh, mowing the lawn yesterday. I did this need, not, not even one time. And I have three three times a very heavy allergy in Michigan. Mm -hmm. There's some energy being sent to you. It might change your vibration. Just accept it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me finish that, by the way. All I can do is send her the same. 
So I've given you some energy in your heart chakra. Try to change your mindset a bit more positive. You just gotta be just go affirmations you gotta believe in hundred percent. Yeah. If we hear anything else, I'll let you know, Maggie. Thank you. Thank you guys. I cannot stay until the end because I have my, my phone is almost uh, the battery is almost empty and I don't have chance to charge here. Mm -hmm. I would love to see you guys, but thank you very much. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Bless you. you all. Love you all. Love you, honey. Mm. Bye bye. 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 Take care, Maggie. Thank you, Lily. Love you. Love you. Talk to you soon. Yeah, I will try to ask my sister, but they are in California. They are not in Michigan. Uh huh. Well, mm -hmm. I can go to anywhere. I am free like a bird. <laughs> oh, I also have a sister in Texas. Oh, perfect. I am close to Texas. And in oh. Texas, in Houston, I can have a chance to do my. my to renew my passport straight oh. at the embassy because here is just okay. a consulate to take even longer. Okay, I will try to ask her because I have a niece in Houston. That's wow. exactly where she has to go. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. a niece in Houston. And I would love to stay kids. in America in any place and wherever I'm guiding to do, wherever chance come, I do anything. Yeah. I'm open for everything as long as accordingly in alignment with the universe but yeah. uh, um check your facebook now and then this is the it is only where i can connect with yes you. you can contact me in messenger of course mm. anytime lily okay. anytime okay. i can send you also my my phone number oh good um okay. and let's see i have to to renew the card as well because mm -hmm. it's, it's expiring two days but i mm -hmm. i will send you you can connect with me on messenger okay good okay thank you and thank, thank you care. everyone take care yes i will i am god I bless am. god bless okay. bless you all, all. Right. okay we go you, to guys. the next yeah we go to the next one the next one is elaine elaine Deb, that was yeah. for my granddaughter, by the way, ah, green, no. green Dragon. She's the Zoom, ah, no, she's the Zoom user, okay. I was wondering where is the Zoom user, so you are Elaine, okay. Yeah. Says Elaine here. Hi. 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 Well, I sent Deb, you and both Philip, a follow up from the last time. I don't know if Phil saw it. You answered me in Messenger. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, hey, anyway, go ahead. Um, they've opened up the area at the bottom of my bile duct, and the fluid can now go through. But my question is is there some sort of a stricture from my liver to my bile duct? because I'm still having pain. It's not as severe, but it's not good yet. I'm just sending energy to them. Did they do any scan there on your liver at all? Uh, they did a CT and an MRI of the area. Because I see a shadow there. There may be a cyst in my... That's what I'm seeing. A there's a cyst in my kidney and my adrenal glands and maybe my liver too. Can you feel any energy there now? Yeah. But I want to know if, if the fluid is leaving my liver and going to my bile duct unobstructed. Is there a narrowing or anything there? Mm. 
looks like the cyst is in the way. Like, not totally blocking it, but it's in the path. You know, where the opening is? It's right. right. It's right before it, so it's slowing things down. Okay. That makes sense to me. So you're, are you prone to cysts a lot, cysts? Well, they've just appeared in the last few years. Mm. It's actually they? encapsulated Epstein-Barr virus is what causes them. And it's a virus that's causing it or is it a medication that you're on that causes them? Mm -mm. No, it, well, they, they could feed the virus a medication could feed it, but because they put crap in medication, but it's it's your body sealing off the virus, and they do it in the form of tumors and cysts. Can you feel that alone? Yeah. yeah, I do. I'm trying to breathe through it. Does it feel stronger this time, the energy? No. Okay, I just didn't want to it's make you start. Not I, didn't, I didn't want to have you sweating. Can we bring oh, it up? No. Uh -uh. Okay. Can we bring You're it up? just nausea, getting nauseated. You are? Oh, I don't yeah. want to make you sick either. Um, That's still good. It's a good thing. A little bit I was picky. because I'm trying to make it stronger. Okay.
Oh, What's the pain now? It's not really pain. It's just pressure and uh, the nausea is not as bad as it was. Okay. Yeah. I think the system. There is a, there's a trick to energy sort of thing in your home we've shifted. It's actually giving me, it's giving me pain. <laughs> You Let said a trickster it. energy? Yeah, there's some sort of trickster energy in you. I don't know if that's related. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah. I shifted it, but I think I got some. I think I got some in mind. Doesn't feel good, does it, Phil? <laughs> yeah, it don't feel good. <laughs> yeah. I think some of it's playing with Is it with from you. next door? Is it from next door or that, uh, that place uh, next door? He's gone. I don't know if he's. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that the energy yeah. didn't stay. It's got, it gone, it. but I, I don't know if I've got it now. I felt I felt something from the next door. Right. But I ignored it because I just wanted to get the. Um, well, I thought you cleared him out. Couple yeah. of times. We did, but that doesn't mean that something couldn't show up again. Mm. They, you know, that's some someone coming, look, looking, coming back at something coming from another place that says, "Oh, where's my friends?" <laughs> yeah. You know? Sometimes the, the pain that you have attracts them as well. Yeah, makes makes more pain. It's crazy. I see. So your energy, that, that vibration, yeah, the vibration attracts the, these sorts of things. Yeah. Do I exactly know? It, it, well, it was real severe before I went to the hospital. It was pretty bad. Yeah, I don't like hospitals. So. And I ha I had to deal with it for two weeks before I could finally get in there. Yeah. My, my son was in hospital this week and that tune up that's an hour and 11 minutes long while I was waiting. I was playing that <laughs> to, to, to defend myself from what was in the hospital because I can't I know. stand hospitals. Of things in hospitals. <laughs> yeah. I was playing that uh, cleansing music in the hospital, but I, I could actually see some of them running away. I could actually see that in the, <laughs> the remote view. I'll have funny. To share I, was, I, was, I was, yeah, I was laughing actually. feel relieved. Oh, your cards. I forgot about them. Before. Yeah, miracles do happen. Get the signs. It's probably us. We're the miracles, aren't we? <laughs> In your spiritual growth. Yeah. Yeah. So. Is there anything else I need to know? Have any messages for me? I was very uncomfortable, the pain you were getting, because I'm finding it very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'll shift it. I'll shift it. Well, you must have it because it's it's relieved from me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Drink any lots of fluid, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got me green green drink. 
You green uh, juice. <laughs> awful. But Parsley takes... works real well to, to clear it out. This is uh, apple, pear, cucumber, matcha, and vitamins. No parsley. I didn't have parsley all my life till I went through an awakening and I had it that day. <laughs> that was that was three years ago. I went through another awakening three years ago and all of a sudden I, I got attracted to parsley. Gave the uh gave me dog me down a kebab. Stopped eating bacon and my kids thought I had some heavy if that was dying. <laughs> it gets rid of the acid in your body. Yeah. Yeah, they thought I was with uh, my kids thought I was on my way out. <laughs> I don't have any more messages from you. I actually the only ones I had were what I I gave you was this morning in a private message. Yeah, I had a little chat with Archangel Michael about that. <laughs> he said you were right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have anything else to say, I guess, on the matter. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there going, told you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm glad um, that you did what you were supposed to do. Yeah. Well, I've been complaining about it to the doctors for years and years and years, and they were waiting for my liver enzymes to be elevated, which never happened. Yeah, but, so um, that, you know, that's what clues them into there's a problem there, but not for me. Yeah. You know, you know a lot better than they do, so. Right. Well, I even read it on the internet that not everybody's liver enzymes are elevated when they have this problem. So and now it's my job to inform all the doctors that they don't know what they're talking about. They don't. But <laughs> I don't trust doctors at all. I kind of laugh at what they tell me. Remember when they had all those... Uh, videos with all the uh, news people saying the exact same thing well the doctors do the they're they all sound the same too mm. somebody yeah. ought to record them and put it up too <laughs> i know yeah. i know tell you what, I, they, I know they when they're telling me lies i know what the truth is so i think they loved me because they used to phone me every week I don't know why. <laughs> they don't. They don't phone me. Yeah, I, I told him that I'd rather have heroin in my eyeballs <laughs> than that stuff in my blood. Whatever that stuff is. They got yeah. the message. They got the message. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You, you've all helped me through this greatly. I'm happy. I'm happy. All righty. Really? Okay. Lovely. The next one we go to Sunlis. Sunil. Sunil. Oh, Sunil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, Sunil. Okay. Hello. You're uh, are you muted? Yeah, he is. Yeah, you're muted still. I see your I see your lips moving, but I can't hear you. I, I see a mute sign. Yeah. We've got that photograph one later as well, probably. The photograph. Oh yeah. Oh, is she on the internet? No, she's not on the internet. And uh, Kathy might be coming on. Yeah. She may be coming. Hmm. In? She just messaged me now. Who's okay. That? Yeah. Who's that? Someone that paid it. Oh. Um... 
I sent sent you the photo. Right. So now. Yeah. Here we go. Right. I thought you were going to say, can I hear you? And I was going to say no. <laughs> oh. Hello. Yes. Yes, I can. I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. How are you? How have you been anyway since last time? I'm okay. I just have my, just having uh, some bad moments and uh, uh, just feeling really down. But uh, did you just fix physically. Did yeah. you fix the uh, issue? Sorry? That deal, wasn't it? What's that? You had that deal, didn't you? That contract. That deal? You said, yeah, you did an energy contract. Not anymore. Yeah, you still... Oh, it... have, you, have you done that prayer on YouTube? Have you actually done that? Yes, I've done it, yeah. Right, and have you listened to that one hour, 11 minutes of uh, insane music? Yes, I was doing it all night. Oh, keep on doing it. That would, okay. that would chase them away, but we can do it. Okay. But let, let's, let's find out. I've just given you uh, your free cards. Music, yeah. which is probably that, that music from the other day, <laughs> what you've been listening. Divine timing, which is the music, and power. You get your power back. Yeah. Okay. That's excellent. Just keep doing that every night. Yeah. Yeah, do that okay. every night. Uh, that's, okay. well, we'll, we'll we'll check it out now. Uh, I'll be just one second. Just sending someone the link. Still not. Still not done yet, Phil. <clears throat> I can feel it. I can feel you're better. Okay. You've improved. Would you agree so with that? Because of, because you still, of, because you still of, have a ways to go, uh, though. And, it's, and, you know, you, you've got to get your power back. And it, the yeah. only way of doing it is when someone says, how are you, is but for you saying, I am great. Not, I am okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, be positive right. mindset. But keep on okay. listening because that little that tune is 150 frequencies in that, and each one it gets rid of archons, it gets rid of demonics, it gets rid of no problem spir okay. spiritual parasites and whatever you is okay. connected to okay. it, get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. Every I'm not time, trying to sell it, but I know that would work better. Okay. When right. someone says to keep you, "How are you?" and you and you and you sound depressed, you're giving your power away. That means someone still has 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 power over you. And you're, and you're still not in control of your life. Someone else is. So that's when that's why I said to Phil, he's still not. He mm. still got his power back. I've also put in that music, uh, Angelic Song. It's the first time I've ever broadcasted that. Last time I destroyed okay. a building. It's very, very okay. powerful. It's very powerful. Okay. It's time for you to take control of you. And not mm -hmm. let someone else control you. You look better, but it, it, it's it's time for you to to be better. Okay. Be be the be the healer that you were. Yeah. yeah. I've been told you're thirty percent better than the last time we okay. met. So you you're doing something that's impossible normal. To actually go back to what what's happened, yeah, you, 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 these ways around it, I didn't think at the time they would be. So just keep listening to it every day. Yeah, yes. and keep on doing okay. that prayer as well. Okay, that, I, I'm, I'm doing it's it. Stronger, it's my second, day, my second day doing it. Okay, I will. Yeah, yeah. We'll check, we'll check in again. Yeah, when you come yeah. around next time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for it. The the I'm giving you healing energy. It's going through. It didn't go through last time. Okay. I can feel it going into you. Yeah. Last time it was like healing. I'm I'm being. It's like healing someone dead last time. Now it's not. Okay. So that's that's the difference. Okay. Can you feel that energy? 
I can't feel it. No. Yeah. And you get your full power back. Yeah. But the cards are saying, so the cards are saying that music, that frequency, is it is with divine timing, and you get your power back. Power the creator. Okay. You are the. So we all to... are power the creators. We all are divine gotcha. prime okay. cre- uh, prime creators. Okay. So keep doing it every day, and yeah. do the prayer every day. Gotcha. Yeah, but okay. That divine timing is basically your your prayers are being answered. By universal okay. law, so okay. we probably, yeah, universal law is now on your side. Gotcha, freedom. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah, you got anything else? And you bet your shoulder's just been repaired. You must have an aching shoulder. What about the shoe? What's about the right foot? What's going on in the right foot? Uh, I'd get your power back first. I wouldn't even worry about okay. it. Okay, okay, power back. Okay. Yeah. Just keep listening to it. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah, you for Don't, the don't look at what's wrong with you. Look at what's positive and, and get your power okay. back. All right. And Go. Exactly. Thank you for it. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. We'll check in next week, next time I meet you. Next month. Yeah. Thank you, Deb, as well. Is there anything else, Deb? <laughs> no. The the power the healing was going in a lot more Good. than what it was last time. That's that's like right. awesome. that. But we'll give you, I'll give you two more minutes. Should we give him two more minutes, really? Because it's going through, it didn't go through last time. Yeah. Thank you, Charlotte. Mm-hmm. I'm, at, I'm trying to heal your foot a little bit. I'm using uh, quantum particles. Okay. Uh, spiritual, like like spiritual beings. It's in the it's in the, the, the toes are really like causing problems. Yeah, you look at it. You see them twisting. Is it gone a bit? Is it like bruising? Like, it is. It's, it's really hurt a lot because some entity got into my field and made me damage my foot. Yeah. It's it's, it's they, it really hurts it, 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 to wear the structure of it. But don't see it as just see it as perfect. I got you. Mm. See it as perfect. Get my power yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this healing will take be seven or eight days to drink water. Listen to okay. that frequency and do that prayer. I did yeah. it all last night. I was playing it all last night. I'll do it again. Keep doing it. Thank you for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Much much love to you. Thank you for that. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Okay. Right, so you've had some particles that are trying to fix your foot. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Sunil. And the next one is Gabriel. You want me to try it again? What? The music? Now, we're finished now, uh, Sunil. Yeah. Uh, All right, Gabriel. Gabriel. Hey guys. I was hoping I'm, I'm waiting for you to say, can we hear you? And I was going to say, no, don't wait anymore. <laughs> I was wondering if you could do a scan and do any energy healing, see what you pick up. Right. Well, the cards say that uh, you mi- miracles, believe in the miracle, mi- yeah. Uh, healing yeah. and self-acceptance you're a bit too hard on yourself you know that anyway yeah <laughs> <She's> <laughs> <too hard herself. laughs> that's true thank you yeah. are we mending a broken heart again yeah. So I remember a couple of weeks back when you guys are like, you should get an animal, you know, like a pet. Well, <clears throat> I ended up um, having to move from where I was at. So I moved in with somebody and the relationship's not really working out, but it did. I, I couldn't keep staying where I was staying. So it was like a transition, but it's been kind of depressing to move again go through all this again and then get a dog 
and then it's like if we break up he now he wants to keep the dog so i'm just like kind of feel just kind of yanked around we, you, couldn't you cut the dog in half Sorry. <laughs> i'm like she's my baby i've been hmm. wanting a baby for so long and she's so that so that miracles I wasn't by, expecting by, that but miracles is basically asking source for a miracle. Pray to source. Okay. Sometimes I don't quite read them right and I get told in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need a break from men. Yeah. The next card is what you should be doing. So I've just split it and it's freedom. There you go. <laughs> you need freedom. <laughs> you need a bit of freedom, don't you? Yeah. Oh. You know what, what freedom actually means on the Oracle card? You may feel trapped like you're in a prison, but you've got the keys to, you know, to get out. So there you go. Exactly. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And this has put me in a position where I can do readings. So I've been doing more of that. So I'm working towards that goal. But I get discouraged about my energy. So I'm just trying to stay grounded. If you can't. If, if you can't make yourself happy, how do you make someone else happy? So you have to be happy yourself first. This is Archangel Michael. Yeah. You definitely got a lot of headache and stress and stuff in your head that you need releasing. It'll just create physical injury. You're looking to others yeah. to make you happy. You're looking for a man to make you happy. You can't look for others to make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. Until that time yeah. that you are in in... in in love with yourself, in love with how you are, the person that you are, you, you have to be. I'm attracting where I'm you. at. Yeah. You, you got to be, in a, you you. Gotta be in a good vibration to attract that good vibration. It's right now, you're only attracting bums. So you have a bum magnet right now. Bum magnet here. Yeah. Because you are not, your your self-esteem is is low for yourself. You have it's to go like, yourself into a view, view yourself in the most the most beautiful person that you are inside and outside you have to love yourself enough to know that it until you are up here with your vibration and the love for yourself you're not going to attract anything except for the same feeling that you feel about yourself you have to go out and, and get yourself on this be beautiful keel uh, even keel that, that you should be at Never mind the other the other sex for now. Yeah. It was supposed to be like a help me so I have a car so I can get to work because I'm kind of in the country where I'm at, like how it was before. So um I gotta figure out like how the bus system around here works and all that will work, work out. Work all that and, all yeah. that believe it or not, all that will work out for you to, because now you're going to be working on you and nobody else but you. Yeah. So do, it's fine. Everything is going to work in your favor because you only have to worry about you and what's best for you and your growth and your spirituality. So right. it'll, it'll be fine, honey. We really will. Yeah, I believe it. It's just some days are are hard so i'm just trying not to be stuck in that you know it's only hard if you make it hard yeah believe believe in yourself believe yeah. you're on that wheel all the time with the same situation over and over again the yeah. only one that can change that is you yeah cycle yeah. change the cycle yeah, yeah. i will we could go back on videos and look at the same situation, can't we? Your heart's broken again. Yeah. 
until you get that vibration up and realize that this is these are the people that are not going to ride that ride out in the sunset with you know into the sunset with you they're not going to because you're yeah. attracting the wrong ones Take some deep breaths. <laughs> Bring through that light. In through the third eye. Big breaths. Down into down the throat chakra. Down into the heart. Imagine your art being a green, uh, an emerald green sun. Make it go brighter and bigger. It's big as your house. Keep breathing. Down, down, down. Energy is going all the way down, clearing all your chakras. That's a lot better. <clears throat> what, what did you say, honey? Oh, that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. Good. I can feel a bit of pain coming off your back. I think this is being created by the stress of the, the, the time. You, you really do need to ground. Do you have a bad back? Yes. Yeah, I've got a bad yeah. back now. I mean, it's probably Plus released. I'm on the couch, so it doesn't really yeah. Okay, every morning when you wake up, list all the things you're grateful for. Ground yourself. List all the things you're grateful for. Put a smile on your face and start your day. Every night, list all the things you're grateful for and say thank you. There's always something. Find yeah. something every single day. How's your back? Is that clear? Feels a lot better. You know, I it just it better. <laughs> what I do. Yeah. These energies stay with you for seven days. You know that it continues to keep yeah. getting better and better and better. It really does. If you start with gratitude and end with gratitude, no matter what's going on in your life, and and always find my joy to your guides. Find my joy, guides. Find my joy. <laughs> And let them do it. Don't tell them what to do. Don't tell them what to do. Yeah. Tell them they need to find you. Other than finding your joy, they will find what's the best thing for you because they can see the future. You can't. I was meditating the other day. I was trying to figure out what made me feel better. And I heard your voice pop in head. Find your joy. I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to be afraid about that. <laughs> find my joy. <laughs> I'm like, literally, 
I hear you say that so many times that it was just like a reminder. So I was like, okay, I need to start to make sure I'm intentionally putting that out there. Thank you for finding my joy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for finding my joy. <laughs> yes. Thank you for finding my joy. Thank you, my friends. I really appreciate you. You're welcome. You're We're welcome. always here for that kick in the butt. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I love you too. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. Take care. We will go to Kat. See? Kat. 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 It's Kat. Mm. You're Kat. mute. <laughs> I couldn't use my mouth quick enough. Guys, so appreciate you putting me in today. I really just got back and I was like, oh my God, it's tonight and I really need to see the guy. So, hello. hello. Do you want healing or channeling? I oh, definitely probably. need healing. I'm having a horrendous time with the ascension symptoms. But it's like my body's gone into fight itself. Do you want the details? Go on. <laughs> Basically, um, I had surgery on my foot in October. Um, I had two drains in, but they pulled it out far too quickly, and I had neuropathy, and my body went into shock. Since then, I've had two other anaphylactic shock situations, and my body is like, it's either the, either the, uh, the wound dressings they're using or my body, because we're going through what we're going, has gone into hyper, hypersensitive. But I keep, you know, it's almost like a heart attack. Um, my body gets hives, I get very hot, I get chest pains, I get sickness, um, I get very dizzy, I get very, you know, I just, I'm, I'm having an anaphylactic shock, basically, and it's not good. I would recommend uh, that video about the ascension. I think it helped me on my YouTube. Yeah. I saw that one yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you got to play all the eleven minutes, one hundred and eleven minutes, and it's it's awful what listening to it. But after a while, you you get used to it. Uh, dizzy. Right. I've been getting dizzy. Uh, yeah, very dizzy. Actually, I feel very actually dizzy. vertigo lately. That's how I feel. Mm. Yeah, that's how I feel. Um, I'm also like, I'm also on antibiotics right now. For this book. You're on what? Antibiotics. Mm. It's quite strong, but it's just generally. Um, I've had a thousand dressings, no problems, but it's like the wound, if they touch it, or it's like a massive area reaction, and like a body starts you crashing. Have a, you, you have wound since last October? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not healing properly. Hmm. The cards are saying you've got peace it's of mind within you. Guys, that's why I accept it. Yeah. You've got diabetic. Where are you, cars? By the way, what's that? What's it say? Serenity, peace, peace of mind is within you, so you should be able to get over this. You got to Good. forgive any anger you have. Don't don't get angry about it. You've been getting angry. Yeah. Uh, truth and integrity is within you. It says it all. Let, let's give you some eating. Are you di are you diabetic? Yes. I mean, maybe I need to ground, but something's not right for sure. I'll do the uh, clearing I normally do on the people who have had the finger. You know Thank what you. I mean, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I can't say it, can I? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. But it's basically similar. It literally brings all it. My skin goes really red. I'm itching like crazy. It's like it's my body's fighting itself. It's like a glandular fever, isn't it? A bit. Yeah, kind of. Right, yeah. They haven't quite got to the bottom of it yet, but they're not rushing to find out either. Interesting, you should say that. Mm -hmm. Are you on metformin? Yeah. And flucoxacillin. I'm going to 
to give my, I can't give my, I'm going to give my opinion. Go I ahead. Think, I think it's the metformin, but. Okay. Do you know I've that? Is... A, I've been diabetic for 20 years, no problems. I've had these dressings, no problems. All of a sudden, my body's going like, get away, get away, get away, you know. Mm. It only happens it, when they do the dressing. Um, mm. Metformin takes years, but it, it, and when you're on it for years, it gives you, it, it, this is what it causes. Is Explain, what does it do? Metformin will eventually, it it causes this and it causes, well, your wounds not to heal. And, and eventually you'll be, at, you'll have Alzheimer's disease from it. Oh my God, okay. It, it look, if you look up metformin, it causes a lot of things. The longer you're on it. My husband's on metformin. He was cured of, of diabetes. And then um, one day he was watching football on TV and 1600, him and 1600 others were zapped through the television set and they all got, uh, what's that thing? Bell's palsy. Oh my God. Can, can I just say this is for it's entertainment purposes only for YouTube. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm going to have to. It's not live. It's on. Oh, right. Uh, okay. It's entertainment um, purposes only. But entertainment purposes only. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, if you look at, if you try and find a, these doctors that are talking about metformin and several other diabetic medicines, these, and we got to remember, these are synthetic drugs. These are not natural. You feel that energy, Kath? Uh, low I'm, I'm i'm sleeping loads at the minute because i know i'm working at night at the minute so when i can wake you, up can I... you feel my energy sorry so i'm yucking on let me just feel into you i can now sure So as well, you've got like, allegedly, <laughs> you've got like blood poisoning, haven't you? Yeah. That's I, I, had, I had something like this when I drank some well water about three weeks ago. And uh, it probably had something inside that water. I shouldn't have had probably rat piss or something like that. Mm. Uh, so it reminds me of that. I, I had a rash on my head. She's got it a only happens. I can see it. But they touch the wound. I crash for an hour. And then it, it, it's like... um. You won't know, but um, the hot flush, it just creeps up my body, but it's only the top part of my body. My hands, like, I, literally, it's like energy soaring through my top part of my body, and I want to scratch it out. I'm literally itching everywhere, and then within an hour, it's gone. But it's almost like they're uh, messing with my vagus nerve. It's like that disease I said. That, that does it say? It's like what? That disease I just said that uh, what is it? Uh, forgotten. You that one I said a few you minutes a parasite. ago. Parasite. Do you see the parasite? Yeah, we're just. Uh, I'm using the old system of uh, changing all the uh, blood. I'm just Thank looking you. for the parasite. Where was that? In your blood, I think. Yeah, thanks. Does your pain go from A to B, go to various places in your body? I don't so much get pain, but what I get when I get, it's just like my body is crashing. I, I have uh, chest pain, so I, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm literally sick. That's what signs of a heart attack is. It feels like I'm having a heart attack. Yeah, I'm I think not. it could be in your nervous system. It could be the yeah, parasite, it could be. spiritual. Yeah, I think but it's making me feel quite scared about having any dressings done. You got like a bit of pain in your shoulder. I'm just, I wonder if it's yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, it's just like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I am sleeping excessively at the minute. My God. I'm fighting it. I can see a spiritual parasite. Oh, I, no. I think Rick has one too. Yeah, is this the same one? You might have a few, I don't know. This might have come in after because of your wound, if you know what I mean? Because you're, because you're weak, your feels weak, it can get into 
Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. A, like a spider, but with a massive body. Yeah, I didn't. I just saw Rick's. I never saw it before. It's like a well, spider's legs with a massive body. <laughs> where is it, Phil? In your nervous system. You can get I'm out, just, right? I'm just following it. You might have a couple. You might feel a bit hot here. To get rid of these, you, you need, sometimes need to burn burn it out, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll ask Bob. It's really funny. They... Bob doesn't like the look of it. I saw Rick's until today. Dad, Bob doesn't like the look of it, but he's going to eat it anyway. So That's his job. He says it's not bad. That's okay. It feels. Can you feel all this work? A little bit. I feel a bit queasy. I was. I think you're just like you know dragging it out. No, we popped it inside. <laughs> no, I'm surprised you're not sick. It's me to know that bit. <laughs> He'll get rid of it. Don't worry. God, it's made me. Oh well. Not as big as the one that I once had. That I, I ended up uh, starving myself for 24 hours and then I overeat myself and I was on the toilet all night. <laughs> I don't want to do either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, what you do, you get your temperature to 106 and it kills all parasites in your body, all these spiritual ones. Am I going to start feeling hot flushes then? Is that what you're saying? You might do. Wait, when, you're, when, when, these, when the anaphylactic shot happens, my skin literally gets red and hot, and I'm what? At, what I'm yeah, what's me. good is I've I've got a being that eats it, so it's not like oh, destroying it in your body, and it turns God. physical a bit, and then it makes you sick. Oh, nice. So this one should be okay. You might just have a, a bitter taste of it. No wonder I've been feeling rough there. Right, we're just detoxing your blood. Allegedly. <laughs> Entertaining purposes only. I love that word. Yeah. Can you feel how bad it's making me feel? Yeah. Maybe they've give, done a number on you. I can feel you in my head. All right. Yeah. You had an implant as well. They've really done a number on you. Oh, cool. I can feel that in your head. Yeah. I'm hot in my face now. Should feel like warm water going through you. Warm water. Yeah. That's creator's energy. The other vibration is, is filled. Thank you. Mm. Really you having, nice you having, you having the divine emerald energy, emerald order energy. Very rare I do use this one. Oh, bless you, Phil. Thank you so much. It's it like has gold. felt like years ago. It's felt like a million different things. I've just not. Yeah. I've been fighting it big time. Oh, I can feel the liquid now. It's here. 
<laughs> Your card says celebration, actually. So me and Deb and Rick are working on it. <laughs> awesome, thanks. Yet yeah, feels like, oh, I can't be bothered with all this. <laughs> It's, it's, it's just because I'm trying to fight it, I'm sleeping so much. Everything's an effort. Right. Thank you, Derek. Thank you. I don't think that you say metformin is bad for me, but I don't think that these antibiotics are good for me either. I think that definitely... No, I just, I just have read so many dead things. I mean, he's, he just, he's still taking it. I mean, because... You know, there's nothing else on the market that you know they're gonna they're they're substituting for it right now. So mm -hmm. I'm just trying to counteract it with other things to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, what what, what happened oh, with two two weeks ago? I was that week I couldn't get rid of because I had rapid water. So Sophie had left some antibiotics, and so I had three, and she said I had three times more, and I should have I should have had one. Mm -hmm. Then I found out it was penicillin. Uh, as a kid, that would have killed me. So it didn't kill me. <laughs> so I'm not allergic to penicillin anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, but normally, I, normally I'd shift it myself. But uh, I'd just take them. I couldn't be bothered. I'm having a thousand grams every four hours. It's too wow. strong. And they say that for every antibiotics you have, the first one, you've got three months of brain fog. So on top of, on top of, on top of. I'll be cabbage soon at this rate. And now you've just said, I'm going to get Alzheimer's. Oh. And the good news is... Well, the, the good news is you, you'll forget about this and you won't know you've got Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're hmm. so funny. <laughs> so funny. It doesn't mean everybody's going to get it. I said, you know, yeah. you know not yeah. everybody. A, 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 a good is to detox with, uh, get the metals out, have uh, coriander or anything that gets through the metals. I think oh, Boron Bor Bor does it as well. But uh, yeah, the, a lot of studies of, uh, I can't even say any, but studies of saying detox metals out of your body helps you with, uh, with that sort of stuff. That how's the best way without the coriander well, so anything else? Uh, cilantro. Uh, I just bought a coriander bush from Tesco. So <laughs> I just have a little leaf every day and now and again. Yeah. I'm on the Celtic salt. I think that's helping me. Yeah. Uh, that's but because obviously the antibiotics dehydrate you, so that's mm. putting those minerals back in my body. But I, it has felt like my whole body's affected. So you're mm. right; it is. It feels like my nerves and all my blood. But you think it's my nerves, do you? No, that's where the parasite was, the spiritual parasite. Down, you know, it was your blood got uh, de detoxed Thank using you. the uh, eleven chakra blueprint. Uh, Can you do Rick now? Let's get rid of. Parasite him. Okay. Yeah. Deb, you're not that bad. <laughs> I don't have Bob. Bob. No, don't you get that? You yeah. don't get that, do you? That, that's UK humor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't even see the parasite. He had me scan. He scanned himself the other day, and I didn't see it. Hmm. Well, how come today I see it? Do you know, the only time, well, I've had parasite. A few weeks ago, I actually astroed out my buddy on the healing bed. While I was having healing, took an implant out of my own self. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's showing off. God, wow. <laughs> on the Arturian uh, med bed on Steve Noble's website. That helps me. Oh, does but, that help? Yeah, definitely. Have you looked, yeah. have you looked to that tune that I put on my YouTube? Have you that listened? Was, yeah, but what does it do to you? What's the side effects? I would say you'd get, you'd probably feel ill, you'd probably get a headache, you'd probably have whizzing in your head, but it's good. <laughs> and it how sounds, long, it's it, it, 111 it, 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 minutes. How long, that, Phil? How long, how long 111 do minutes. 111. Oh, that's all? 111 how minutes. No, no, the, the, the meditation or whatever it is, but well, how long do the symptoms take to come out my body? Oh, it should take off quite quickly, but I, I think it'd help you. The frequencies are all frequencies. It's nice and warm now. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, it's still being done. There is also a book that I always read uh, online. 
the lost book of herbal remedies, remed, remedies yeah. the healing power of plant medicine by Nicole Apillian. Maybe you like to have it. I'm going to order one. Yeah, it's very nice. I have yeah. seen it. Yeah. I can order it, Adam, but if you just tell yeah. me some of that person said. Yeah, I, I wrote it. I wrote it on the chat. Oh, have you? Sorry, I've not seen I've been talking yeah. to them. I've not seen it. I'll, I'll yeah. definitely order that, Kendra. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's so. a very good one. Nicola, is it, Nicole, a, a, Nicole, I, I've heard there's a book out and it's got all the remedies of every illness. Mm. Is yeah. that the one? I bet that could be the one. Yeah, that's the one. The every cover is every year. Mm. Mm. Well, that's what, is... got, that's what got originally, and then Big Pharma, and as you just said, of no mm. for entertainment purposes only, <clears throat> they've no agenda to make you well. Mm. I am but... buying also the, um, they call uh Comfrey, Comfrey. I was I was looking at a program the other day, and in the in the jungle in South America, the tribes there have got yeah 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 a certain thing, that. and it gets rid of gallstones. Yeah. Yeah, it and, is the pedria. Yeah, and yeah. they asked the tribe, and how do you know? And they said the the plants told them when they were on ayahuasca. You have an ayahuasca, and the plants actually told them. So the scientists took it. So, YouTube, they took it and they tested it and it does exactly what it, it, they said it does. Amazing. You don't need that. You can just have this jungle medicine and it gets rid of the gallstones. Wow. That's cuts, cuts it in pits. Cuts it up. Yeah. I, I got rid of Rick's gallstones in 2010. Yeah. What was the herb called there, Phil? Yeah. All right. You're going to heal my Coriander. Husband. Coriander. Yeah. Yeah. And then next week, I would like also to, to for me, Okay. Whatever. Can we, we do? We do. Or, we never ask. What's that, Sarah? Hello. What? What? <laughs> All silent. I, I be, have you got? Uh, yeah, you get outside <laughs> already. <laughs> you what? That was quick. <laughs> You got rid of his parasite already? No, I'm just saying it looks like calf's just got Alzheimer's already. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> no, I was listening you to this. Huh? And I was, no, I was just saying that give Rick something because he never, ever, ever asked. And then if Kendra yeah. needs it, perfect. But that's, yeah. yeah. But I'll order that book. Thank you, Ken. I've just written it down. What type is it? The same type. How did he get it in? Or don't you know? I have no idea. He's been weak lately. Or he's been ill. He was. Last 12 months. Sometimes something comes in and it, it's like a seed and it wakes. Yeah, they're quite clever. Sometimes you get in when you're weak. Stay there till when you're powerful. And then they nick all the energy. And then you don't know you've got your energy back. Wow.
Has he got a bad back as well? He's got a bad back. He's bone on bone in his back. Hmm. I think he had two. I think you probably only sense one because this one, this one was I didn't. This was dormant. Uh, right. How you feel? Is it gone, Deb? I don't see it. Yeah, there was another one that was like seeded. If you know what I mean. When one dies, the other one gets born. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't see that until today. That's weird. Mm. Dormant, completely dormant, so it's not affecting or anything. And then they just, when your energy grows, it gets, it's like like an egg. Gets born. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, Julian might be on in a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got one more, haven't we? No, we got any more. Lily. Lily. Oh, we got two more. Oh yeah, I'm last. You're not actually. You're second, but I'm third, but last. Okay. <laughs> well, because I've had this vulnerability, like having parasites, and you know, with all my medical stuff, is there any anything I can do to stop them ever getting in? Yeah, listen to that frequency. It but burns everything... all. It, it burns oh. all parasites, demonics, yeah. archons, the whole lot. It gets rid of the whole lot. Yeah. Okay. I'll be okay. targeted soon. Not showing that music out. <laughs> <laughs> no, if it does its job, but your Look, stuff's really powerful. That's the only thing. I I was in a I was my son was in the hospital the other day, and uh, oh. while while I was waiting, he's okay, he's out now. I was playing that tune in the in the ward because there's that many dark beams in there. I could see them, and they're all running away from me, <laughs> playing the music. <laughs> Wow. I, bet, I bet every four, mom thought I was cuckoo because it doesn't sound nice. It doesn't sound nice. Yeah, not it's I've 150. Now. It's 150 yeah. tunes, frequencies, and my oh. angelic tongue in it. It's, 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 well, okay. Yeah. It's like having well, a med. It's like having the worst medicine. <laughs> what do you oh, think, no. Deb? When you listened, it is, isn't it? It's not nice. <laughs> what? That that tune is not nice to listen to. Oh, it's all right. I mean, once you once you listen to it, it it's not bad after a while. Yeah. The first time you're like, you're like, oh, it's it, it. You just sit back for a minute, and then then it's okay. I mean, the first time you like sit back and go, I don't think I like this, but then it's okay. <laughs> but does it make you feel sick? If it makes you feel sick, you need to get that out of that energy. Yeah, I, it's everyone's different. Just... Everyone's different. Read the comments. It's some. Right. Yeah. Some, read the some have some have done awakenings with that. It's amazing. Yeah, it never yeah. made me feel sick though at all. Okay, yeah. fine. That's fine. That's fine. It just kind of made me sit back. I think mean, like, oh, like this. <laughs> is this gonna hurt my ears? <laughs> but, but now you feel you're glad you did it. Yeah, I mean, no, I was just listening to it because Phil played it for me, but. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. doing it. We were doing Zoom, and I started playing it. I was sitting there thinking, you know, like more like, it, oh, I don't like that that taste in music type thing. But it didn't like, I don't like this kind of music type that that kind of crap. It didn't. And spiritually, it was fine. I, you know, I kind of liked it that way. Mm -hmm. Once I got used to the noise, yeah, <laughs> but it didn't make me sick. Right? <laughs> it's okay. the noise. I just thought because it was in the massive. It was clear. the noise of it, you know what I mean? It was like <laughs> then yeah. I got then I kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, it's okay. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Yeah. I'll stick with it. No, it didn't make me sick. Okay, that's good. I think everybody's it depends on your on, I guess on, on where you are. It depends vibration. what layers you've got, isn't it? What you need releasing. It's got yeah, even in there as well. Exactly. Which is, do I need to wait a week or so. <laughs> no, you can have it straight away. No, yeah. I think after your healing today, I think you'd be fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Got church bells in it as well. So. Is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tibetan chants and got Lily's it. next. Are you going to talk through Lily's healing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can come and say. I don't know what Phil is doing. Did yeah. you? I'm just sending. Did you send I'm just sending healing to you. <laughs> Did you send um? 
<laughs> Did you send the link to uh, Jillian? Yeah, done that. Okay. She's put thanks. This is the chunk of piedra, the, the plant that you talk about, kidney stones. It can heal. Chunk of piedra. <laughs> Lily, do you want channeling or both? Healing? Yeah, I would like to ask uh, what is a um, message, any message for me? What do they want to tell me? Should we let her in? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Archangel Michael has a message for you. Yes. He said that you are intuitive, clairvoyant, and he hopes that you start using your gifts more because you're very, you, you can hear and you can see very well. I can well. hear a lot. Uh-huh. Mm. I can hear a lot. Yeah. And you can channel. Yeah, he told me that before. But you're not using it. Pasha. He told me that before. Right. I choose to, then I can. He told me that. Yeah. Hmm. Why aren't you using your gifts? <laughs> <laughs> right. They're sending you messages. They're sending like, messages in your dreams. dreams. Yeah. In my dreams. Yeah. So have a pen um, next to you and write them down. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, she gets them. She gets them when she's awake too. <laughs> <laughs> you you can manifest your future manifestation Ooh. and for new beginnings. Try something else. Very yeah. nice message. I mean, I will write that all. What is it? Is it the dreams? Dreams, um, manifestation, manifestation, and new beginnings. And... Oh, manifest you you that. you. See what the, <laughs> what the, yes, I'm being told. See yeah. what messages you've been told. Yeah, mm. write, write them down and then manifest what they are telling you mm. uh, as your new beginnings. There you go. Yeah. I think I just said okay. that. Again. But oh. I'm so careful of thinking because. Never what think. I... Never think. No, what get out of here. Think. Get out of here. Get into the heart. Never Maybe this when yeah. I think of something, then it will happen. When it is something bad, I would erase it. If I you think it. something and it it's created, yeah, think about something positive like lottery yeah. win or something you know better. Don't think of anything dark. <laughs> Just think of got positives. Yeah, that is that I'm. That's manifestation, but you got to be careful with that manifestation. Mm, I'm trying about. to learn. Yeah. Mm, because it happens. If or you, when I see something. I see something and it will tell me like, for example, I see here in the window, there's an old man so cautious of looking on the street. I said, he is already old, but he is so cautious on <laughs> looking on the street. He's afraid of getting bumped like that now. And the, like two days after, when I went down on the same street, I got bumped. I said, <clears throat> <laughs> I should follow that old but <laughs> What you could do to test it, manifest me winning a lottery. That'd, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I will manifest you. Yeah, to win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm probably not allowed to me manifest too. it myself. But you could manifest a big, it. Big time feel, not just win. You might win a tenner. You You're a welcome. Big, You're welcome. Big Karen. big win. Yeah. When I was yeah. having that fire at Solstice at the sound healing, I actually, they all laughed. I said, uh, my spiritual side wants to get rid of all governments, but my physical side wouldn't mind the jackpot of the lottery in 2024, in June, end of the month. So I, I crossed all the T's. <laughs> and then you burn it, don't you? And it's supposed to come true. So, just so that is the... the yeah, all right. The, yeah. Archangel Michael's message for me, uh, Debbie. That was that. Yeah. He just wants you to trust the messages that you're getting 
-hmm. and and to try and use your gifts and if just getting into your heart not up here yeah because mm -hmm. when, when you go up here it's the ego and and mm -hmm. you're doubting you're doubting yourself you're doubting that you're getting the messages and that they're true so if you stay in your heart and i know that you can shut your ego up you can you really mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your ego's telling you oh no that's not a real message you're not yeah. doing that you're not channeling okay. yes you are mm -hmm. yeah okay. i'm writing them all down yeah. so you know and just because you see somebody who's if he's already old but so am i <laughs> so am i no he's he he was uh how do you call it he was very careful in going out of the corner from our street. Yeah. So I was telling myself, he is already long time here, and but he is very careful because me, when I go out early, we look one twice and then I'm out. But he, he is was very careful. And then like it was a message for me, Lily, you have to be careful because the next two days really you will get hit. I really got hit. <laughs> I said, oh my God. I got hit because I well, now you see why. Now you see, now you see why because obviously these people go crazy driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one, two, out. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I said wrong. You have to do one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> and now you do that like he does. <laughs> yeah. No, let's yeah, let's do it like he, he does. Yeah, <laughs> he's a good teacher. <laughs> what, what I'm getting, Louis, really is you need to ground yourself more. You, 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 you are, you've got too much. Remember to in ground you. every day. Yeah, ground yeah. yourself every day. Everybody mm -hmm. should be grounding every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. uh, there is also something that I I notice when I get inside. For example, I was in the cellar like our cellar and after like one hour i was moving things i get a very bad back ache my back was so aching i ran up because i always get afraid when i get a pain <laughs> i run up and then what i did i connect to source i meditate I immediately i connect to source i ground myself i push all the whatever that was energy what's what that was really i pushed them all out and then amazingly they my back ache was gone yeah it was gone yeah it, why yeah. is that amazing because i pushed it out and where did it go you yeah, grounded well, it out you grounded it into the earth mm -hmm. The pain and you and you grounded it. You grounded your pain into the earth. Probably a tiny bit of negative energy got your weak point and then it started mm. feeling it getting worse and then you just get rid of it. Never mind. Yeah. We we're, we're prime creators. We can do magic, manifest anything. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Obviously I froze. Um you 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 actually healed yourself and you and grounded it the pain into the earth. Yeah, yeah that was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah, amazing. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm glad. And I'm glad Archangel Michael tell me again this, 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 this. this, this. Don't give up because <laughs> he really, this, really this. wants you to start channeling and using your gifts. Yeah, I actually um, bought um, a channeling class by Susan Gisman. You know her? Susan Gisman. I bought Who? a class. Who is it? I... Suzanne. Suzanne Gisman. Oh, I don't know who that is. is that do her? I? I don't I think don't... So. She, She's a Navy before. Now she's channeling. Suzanne Gisman. Yeah. I bought a channeling class. I really have it. Eight modules. I finished it. Good. But I did... Yeah. I do not clap, Cassie, because I did not practice it. <laughs> When do it, if it sounds to me like creator is definitely saying, come on, the fact that you were, it's no coincidence that, that course. Yeah, I, uh, no, I will, I will. But we, Thank we you put very much. Susan, whatever her name is in the comments, I'll, I'll look up.
because I want to start channeling more now. I just oh. feel like that's what I'm meant to be doing. Connect, connect to your own aspects easier. Yeah, the highest vibrational aspects have got all the info and easier to connect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. I'm happy oh, to hear from Archangel Michael. When we go to jail, yeah. Just one sec, one sorry, Archie. Jillian. Kendra's just asked, can I ask one more question to Deb? Go on, Kendra. Ask you one more question. Go ahead. Yeah. Let me get out of the car. <laughs> yeah. I was sitting with my son. <laughs> okay, so I've just these chats are really long. Um yeah. I'm just thinking about it. I think Deb has told me more than one time to worry about having a partner. Is that something that I'm hanging on to from my childhood and am I not supposed to have a partner? Is that something I need, like, obviously I need to let go of it? No, no. You, uh, you can, oh, look at this. <laughs> We're supposed to have a pool party and it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, you'll be, you'll be Already. Okay. It's um, wet anyway, wet and wet. It don't matter, does it? <laughs> um no, our if the you are the one to decide that. If you want a partner, yes, you can have a partner. But what Archangel Michael is, is meant is women focus too much on needing or thinking they need that partner what you need is yourself to be to be satisfied with yourself first if you can't be happy yourself first you can't make anybody else happy and and it, it, focusing on someone else to make you happy is the worst thing that women do i have to have a man take care of me no you need to take care of yourself first and yeah. when women are independent and and can take care of themselves then a man sees that and, and you're all, and you're attracted to a man and they're attracted to you when you're, when you're not so needy. Yeah. Have you ever seen women that are so needy that they can't live without a man? It's very unattractive. Like my mom. Yeah. That's why I was asking because I remember her saying when I was a child that she doesn't want to be alone when she gets old. And she basically gave me up for her husband who was never good to her. And now that he passed away, I don't know. There's just so much going on in my head. And I'm staying on the property in the house where most of my childhood trauma happened. So I'm I'm really ruminating over it a lot the last week or so. Yeah. And that's what you have to get, you know, forgive her because she doesn't know anything better because her mother was the same way. Exactly. And that's, that's the way she was raised. That's why that's the way they were all raised. And that's the way society, that's yeah. the way that we were programmed on purpose. And that's why I was wondering, like, am I still holding a program that something I'm not supposed to be holding? But I know I've worked through a lot of that. So yeah, I don't yes, know. You have. So don't, it, just because your mother was, and she's, she's not, she's not ready to get rid of that. A lot of the old program people still aren't, they're still out there, you know, She's coming to stay with me, so I, I guess I'm the next person to take care of her, <laughs> which I don't mind because I've never really had my mother. She was always dedicated to a man, and I never really had a mother, so. But I, you, you're you not dedicated on. to a man. You've, you're you've, to you've got to mom. forgive that. You've got to forgive all that feelings that you never had, really had a mom. I have. You got you got to forgive you. You've just brought it up. You have not forgiven. <laughs> you can bring it up. You got to forgive her, forgive yourself, and let it go. Yeah. And remember, these are things yeah. that might be holding you back. Yeah. It's also a golden opportunity for you to forgive the past. And today is the very first day, so that you can yeah. build and have that opportunity to have the relationship you always wanted. So even though she needs you to care for her. It's a blessing for both of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm, that's how I'm thinking about it in my head, you know? Yeah. I, I, I have to, got to spend time with my mom. She didn't bring me up, but I, I was able to forgive her and she went to spirit peacefully because I, she never thought I would ever forgive her, but I, I was happy to. And I gave her healing. 
So it was just mm. just transition quite easily. It's it's very healing for you. It's a lovely thing that you're given this chance to do that. Relationship with a man is a partnership. It's not you know it it, it really is a partnership. It's not something that you know he's rules over you. Or you rule over him. Yeah, it's just like you know it's 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 i would hope that every relationship would be that way but i mean there's some men there are raised where they are told that you know you find a nice little wife who's good in the kitchen and blah blah, blah. <laughs> that's a little old-fashioned that's what still, the, those are still out there too but the guy that i'm talking to is he likes me because i'm independent and i'm hardworking or whatever but then there are things that he says that make me nervous and we're so different. Like I'm spiritual. I'm like a spiritual hippie. Like I run around barefoot everywhere and he likes clean feet and like a, a pretty manicured woman who's probably had plastic surgery. And, and I'm like, I, I really don't think this is going to work, but he still keeps calling me. So I'm like, like, you know, I'm a dirty hippie. So that's on you. <laughs> yeah, you do all of those things, but if your heart says no, don't ignore it. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it's not, so, if you know already it's not going to work and already he's jarring with you, he's not for you, that you that you won't have those feelings. You'll just go, it's easy. It should be easy. It shouldn't be okay. like you're doubting yourself all the time. It's not, that doesn't sound right to me. I at, least it, at least it's not boring. That's just, <laughs> if you had the same sort of person you say, then you'd be doing it. At least it's, it's a good contract. If you do oh, opposites, yeah. they, they can be quite good. Yeah, there have been a couple of things that make me feel bad, but I don't know if the thing that maybe I was judging the thing that happened wrong and I looked at it differently, but I don't want to. E easier, <laughs> easier to heal your triggers. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing. If someone <laughs> triggers you a lot, it's good to be with them for a bit. It might be a long time, might be, but it, it's it's getting this uh, side of you out of the way. Yeah, bring it to the forefront. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, he's not the answer. <laughs> hopefully, he's no. Then, isn't it? <laughs> oh well. All right. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, Jet Deb. After yeah. Jillian, Dan, Diane's got a question, but we'll do Jillian first because she okay. she don't want to be at the back all the time. <laughs> Should I have said that? I shouldn't have said that. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, no, you yeah, wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh, you got you got your system again. <laughs> what did you say? I'm sorry, the air conditioner house. It's so hot, I'm melting. You went all blurry. Yeah, you, you got doubles. Have you got two speak two, two sounds on? No, you just turn turn um the technology down. Right. Okay. Yeah, I remember to do that. Okay. Hi, Julian. Hello. Hi, Rick. Hi, Deb. Hi, group. Hello. Hi, Phil. Hi. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we doing healing or message or? Uh, yeah. Um. It's funny that you guys are talking about relationships because somebody next to me named Chris calls me the totalitarian huh? <laughs> of the house. Um, but no, um, let's see. I'll send healing to my dad. He's in the hospital. Um, and send healing. And I would like to know about my brother. I got a message. You know, I've been clearing things. And I just needed to clear up some energy with my brother, which I talked to him and stuff, but I feel like there's probably some past life stuff that me and him have, but I've never asked about it. If you can bring anything through, please. Uh, to heal your, your, your dad. He's, he's got an issue on his end. Yeah. He's, he's he, what, he resents you for some reason. My brother huh. or dad? Your brother. Yeah, he does. Jillian, Jillian, yeah. just think of your dad in your mind. We'll, we'll send you healing. You send it to him. Okay, because mm -hmm. we've got a picture. Okay. We 
when you see him, see him in a, as good condition as you've ever seen him. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Yeah, it's because like Jillian's on. You always get feedback with Jillian. <laughs> it's all her energy, you see. So your brother is younger than you. Yes. My brother he, Nick. He resents you. He thinks that you're the favorite child, even though you're not. He actually resents you for being born first. Is that stupid? Yeah, that's stupid. I don't know. My parents like loved us like unconditionally, and I did well in a lot of things. But he, I don't know, he had a good life too, and I love, I love him, and they love him. I know, but he just, he, for some reason, he just has this thing about you. Yeah, he's not being controlled. Does it, it doesn't make any sense. So I, I but just have this energy of him. I just he's being controlled. It's something around. Him. That would make sense why he has this resentment. Yeah. Ooh, a nice thunderstorm. Mm. But he can't wait to get in the pool. <laughs> yeah. Just How watch the lightning. It? Watch the lightning. <laughs> How warm is it in Florida today? It is 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's 91 here. If we had that, it, that there in two days, they say it's climate change. Yeah. <laughs> we had it last year for two days, and they said that. 40 degrees it was, 120. Yeah, 110. We're supposed to have a low piece of oil here today, too. You know, seafood boil. Think of your brother a bit more. Is he, is he had the thing in the arm a, bit, a few years ago? I don't think so. Yeah. My, I think my dad did, but, but that's his choice. True. Just a controlling card in <laughs> Your brother. Yeah. He had like a couple crazy girlfriends, but not that that's an excuse, but um, we always had a good loving relationship and then, you know, we had a couple arguments here and there, but like, he hates me, like, it's weird. At least he hasn't got a crazy sister. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. See how that goes. He, he had a controlling code in his brain. <laughs> Oh, it's been taken out. I didn't ask permission. I can't be bothered. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, I was just told to, that I'm doing good, but just to clear clear the energy from my brother. I asked for a message from Kyan. But, yeah, you, like, I never have, you know, delved you in got, or whatever. You've got guardian angels behind you. <laughs> Yay. you got open your heart for divine love. And... Um, Listen to them, they're giving you messages. So, I think you've been hearing them messages actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> it'd 
Have you had an headache recently, or have I just got one? It's hot here. Um, yeah. Mm. I've got your headache. Oh yeah, if you could send a little more healing to my lips, and then um, after my lips heal, I think I'll be good on uh, you know. Kissing, you'd be good kissing. <laughs> I can't kiss. <laughs> Well, oh, and will you tell that? Uh, will you tell Chris that's uh, sitting here now that, you know, it's, it's. I'm not trying to not kiss him. It's like, <laughs> it's not, like from Mars or something. Just can you verify that I'm not being. Okay. It's just from battles on other planets, and I'm not lying. No, you're not lying. <laughs> See. <laughs> I can definitely verify. I can validate that. I have seen it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think like, you know, creatures from Mars or, or outer space or whatever are contagious, but it, you know, I'll make sure that I'm healed before I do any kissing. <laughs> Those parasites are coming in. They're t they're some tough little mother effers. Yeah, they are. I'm but getting it's, there, but it's, it's a company. It's a company you keep at night. <laughs> so it's kissing. I'm, I haven't kissed in like six months. That's why. <laughs> hmm. No, it's, I, I mean in the astral, not to, not not at not at night in the, the physical here. Yeah, it's a tough job, but sometimes you gotta give up things like kip, kissing for six months. <laughs> but I'll heal. I've healed everything so far, so we're almost there. It's making me itchy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Bye, Bray, Deb. Bye, Bray, Deb. We got another one coming in. Huh? We got one more coming in. Who? Cindy. Ah. Uh. Can you feel that, Julia? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. yeah. I'd listen to that music on my YouTube Ascension one. Yeah, I did. I, I like that. I've been listening to stuff like that for a while. <laughs> I like how you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's like, I listen to some of those like every day. <laughs> but that's good. It was a good one. Powerful. Yeah. I like how you just combine them all. That's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> One of my machines got attacked and I added five tunes separately. And then I said to Sophie, can you join them all together? And then she came up with, and then I had to do light language, four light languages, different ones, that Korean, uh, Andromeda. And then I did Angelic Tongue and I did more. Yeah, but I think your system needs a bit of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think I listened probably, probably 20 or 30 minutes in. Um, but yeah. I like that kind of stuff. It's like you've had an headache today. Uh, I couldn't, I didn't sleep that much. I was just 
you know, uh, just like thinking of my dad. He just yeah, had that's surgery. it. Yeah, stress in it. Yeah, he had the kidney mass removal, and then he was. I guess he was just out. But then my brother messaged me last night and said um, there was like a tear in it, so he had to take him back and more surgery. Yeah. Like I had kidney I... surgery when I was a kid, and it sucks. Yeah, so, so that that's what the headache is, isn't it? You've been stressing over it, and you need grounding yeah. a bit. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's I hot. I can imagine actually. Yeah. Um. And also, are you able to ask? Um. All this like stuff happened in the house, and then like my furnace is fine, but then the air conditioner doesn't work. Could you ask Angels if it's the run capacitor? <laughs> or any ideas? We've been troubleshooting to get the house AC. If you get a message, let me know. That tuner do it. That frequency. What frequency is a is an air conditioner? Doesn't matter. It gets rid of any <laughs> any uh, dark stuff on it. That's a good. Idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Like that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. So play air conditioner, some music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'll I'll do it. And then check this out. I made a um a sea salt crystal. Pretty cool. Did you make all that? Yeah. That's clever. Well and then um, I made a sea salt moon ring keychain, but it's got this the sea salt around the brim. Yeah. Which is cool. And um, sea salt heart. And then um, a borax crystal. Chris made this ugly, but it's pretty cool. Um, Excellent. A, a borax crystal Merkaba. But check out these crystals. They're pretty cool. So you that need looks, a that looks like mad. Borax crystal, and then you, you won't tell, need to tell people to have borax or whatever. You can just zap them with it. <laughs> oh. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Yeah. Everybody feels good. I'm just hot, but good. Mm. Ready to zap people with salty crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Ailed your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to. I just made this this morning, so yeah. It's on. Mm. Excellent. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, if you look at my face, you can see, I feel it's changed. I feel like I'm it's just washed away. <laughs> it feels lighter, it feels much better now. It just Yeah, you only waited so many months, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you waited you waited so long. Yeah. Are you on about Jillian or Mina? No, you you waited that long. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I left it too long. I, I always get to the extreme and then I go, guys, help me. And you're like, flipping, what have you done this time? <laughs> so are we waiting for Cindy or can I ask one more little question? Go on. Uh, the next Danny. person. Yeah. Dad, Dana, Dana after you. All right, go on, quick. Uh, Dan, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, I'm... my. Vibrations are changing. We're all ascending at the minute. You know, there's lots going on in on the planet, but it's it's put a wedge between me and my daughter and my granddaughter. So I'm just kind of like, it's black and white. She won't let me in. Is there anything I can do to improve that? Try, just try your best. Connect. Well, I, I'm doing all of that, but she's yeah. kind of like, um, it's yeah. She won't let me see my granddaughter. She's just been in a real nightmare at the minute. I think she's going through a lot of stuff to be fair to her. So yeah. um, I just need to give her some space to let her work with them. Okay. I've lost Deb. Where's Deb gone? Deb gone. Deb's gone. She'll Is be back. Sweet? She'll be back okay. in a sec. Right. Just uh, just remember you've got to sometimes connect and see how it goes. I am sending, obviously, healing and loan um, support mm -hmm. remotely, but... Yeah. Um, Okay. Okay. What happened to Deb? 
Oh, wait, I, I think she's coming on. Are you coming on, Deb? It's a black screen. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not sure how long we're going to have beyond the, the the wicked storm. Our satellite keeps going out. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, just one thing, Dana said. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to speak? Yeah, go on. Um. Well, I was just like relaxing during all the um sessions here, and I just became aware of like something on my leg, and it was in three different spots, and it was like something was like protruding out. It looked like white, and I scratched each one of them, and it just like profusely bled. I mean, it like filled a whole napkin up. Um. So is that anything related to this? Do, or is that just like just nothing like that's ever happened with me. Sounds like healing. Sounds like a release. Okay. Yeah. What do you think, Deb? Are you frozen? Is that statue? <laughs> <laughs> like, Hi, Deb. Are you, Are you back? <laughs> Deb? Yeah. She had three spots on the leg and they protruded and like white ones and when she rubbed them they bled quite a lot of napkin full i was thinking that's probably the healing the release yeah yeah sounds like it to me yeah yeah but yeah, thank you uh, are they gone now they, it stopped yeah, it, bleeding and now it's yeah. gone yeah it was just like a little pinhole i could actually see like a pinhole you know and uh yeah it stopped bleeding one of them was a little persistent um but it it has stopped, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it felt good actually. It's yeah. Strange that sounds. Yeah. Mm. It's a release, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. All right, Cindy. So, hi. You look tired, so I'm sending you a little healing. <laughs> no, but okay. I'm I don't okay. like seeing you tired. I'm okay. Um, mm. So, I was on home. I know. I, Other things. I, and I apologize. I mean, we have, we have, um, it's okay. Yeah. We have satellite when it's overcast like this and lightning and thundering out, apparently my bandwidth. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, no worries. I, I get it. Uh, yeah. it's life. But, uh, so I got dizzy from the remedies cause I was on too many. So I stopped everything and I was taking some um, herbal tea and I'm trying to me, it's a message to get off everything completely. I mean, my thyroid, I mean, you know, I was on regular medicine 20 years now, homeopathic. And I just want to get my skin back and uh, get rid of the brain fog. So did you guys ever hear a moringa powder? Moringa leaves. It's supposed to heal everything. I don't know. I just heard about it. It's green. Did we uh, discuss so this earlier? Shall Moringa? We discuss this? Shall we discuss this? Yeah. Did we? I think I no, know. you weren't here, obviously. I, I'd try anything. Oh, anything oh. herbal is, is worth trying anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, just, you know, my skin and the, uh, you know, the brain fog is what. The, the brain fog sometimes is because the metals in the body, because the metals go go to the head uh, and have a, uh, have a detox of metals. And I think in America it's cilantro, and so yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. cilantro. I've, I've got a coriander plant, and uh, I've got a plant that I take a leaf off of once a day. <laughs> so. And you just eat it. You. Just I, I just it. eat it as it is. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't stand it with. I've tried it with foods, and I can't stand the taste. So I'd rather have it just on its own because I'm just having it one, and then I can have nice food after. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. I'll try that. Thank you. Yeah. Should Should I order the moringa powder? It's worth a try. You already said to us you you want it. Yeah. Okay. It's worth a try. It says to me that you want to use it, isn't it? So yeah. 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 Uh, just one sec. Uh, I'll give you some healing as well in a minute. 
you got to surrender and release. And you, okay. you, you still, you still know you need to do that. You still got things that you got to let go. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second one. Better care of your body. You can't just have nothing. You got to have food as well. Take care of your okay. body. I, yeah. I, I do eat very well, and uh, I've been playing pickleball. I was dancing last night for about three hours in this heat, so. Mm. I'm still going. Last one, spiritual growth. So if you do the body care, the surrender and release, so you, 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 surrender and release is fixing your, your trauma and your spiritual. Your body care is your physical, and then you get spiritual growth. Yeah. Okay. Do you want some healing? Yeah? Sure. Okay. By the way, when I do this, it's not Reiki, it's uh, it's my own symbols. I know. <laughs> Made me own. <laughs> That's powerful. I felt it. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. you're beyond you're beyond Reiki. Yeah, I've done two courses now. I'm nearly a master's. Uh, but I'm a Reiki, uh, I'm a accredited dealer anyway, that's so higher than ma uh, mastery. It, it, I had to go night school for t I think it was two years, one one day a week, one day a week. So, so right, you get in about four days. There you go. But I, I enjoy it. Enjoy it. I actually, when I had the last one, I'll have a break. I'll give you a bit more in. When I had the break on the Reiki last time, I actually met the spirit of the Reiki. It was like a demigod, and I ended up being in like a round fireplace he was giving sake he's giving me that japanese alcohol in spirit world <laughs> and he gave me some like herbal food and he said it was magic so i don't know what that is but yeah uh, so when wow. i was getting when i was getting tuned up i ended up going there and having a visit to him <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're teaching the teacher a few things <laughs> they, they were interested in the ascension and what's happening here in uh, the emerald order I'm in a conversation like me and you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> crazy. And connect me with the with the emeralds. Oh, I am. Yeah. Um, that's so near and dear to my heart. When my mom passed, my sister and I found an emerald necklace, and um, it was my mom's. And I, my sister, pawned it. So I'm on a quest for an emerald. Someday I'll find it. Well, that my uh, that was off my grand grandchild who's eight and it, it's like an emerald dragon beautiful. Isn't that good? wow it's yeah. beautiful and the emerald dragon's on earth at the moment they come on earth this year from the emerald order so i've been so connected to the dragonflies you know they're green and it's kind of, to me it's like a um a mini uh a mini mini dragon and with those wings that are so thin and they're green. It's uh, so um, it's reminding me to be in a state of grace always. Never stress, struggle, worry. Just the thin, like a little flutter, kind of like a fairy of a of a dragonfly. Because you know, a dragon is connected to the dragonfly, and that's kind of how I put it all together. Feel that? Yeah. Yeah, I brain fog's like a vibrational headache.
It's a, a Native American Indian. Is it Titi? Is that an, a, a, such a person? Is he such a per Have you ever heard of him? Uh, no. Like an aspect to connect. You can connect. Oh. It's to do with probably herbs, actually. Yeah. Titi. Name's Titi. Okay. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's someone playing. I'm going to Google that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Titi. Okay. Uh, I'll have to tap into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So he's my, he's the master, he's the ascended master, TT? I didn't ask. <laughs> I don't know. Just an he's aspect. one of my guys. Okay. Aspect. Okay. That and that means easy. an aspect of me. I mean, a past life. Yeah. That means part you over, so. Okay. Mm. I think your brain fog's going. Okay. I feel a lot in the heart. Oof. Mm. Uh, how are you feeling? Wonderful. Oh, you had a lot of energy released. I feel Thank all the you. cracks in my body. Uh -huh. I, I, like I re recommended that Ascension video on my YouTube. I'd really recommend it. It, okay. might, awake, it might give you an awakening. Yeah. Thank you. Right, I've got one more that is... I've got to share screen and dig it out. Just one second. I believe I've got to do this. Uh, one minute, one minute, one minute. Uh, just one sec. I might do a, a, a bit of sound dealing at the end. Okay. If you ever feel the need to deliver quantum energy healing online, I'd love to join you. I'd right. pay you to teach me how to do that because I, I just <laughs> really want to do that. Are you talking to me or to Phil? To Phil, so okay. I'll do, I'll do. I'll do a live with you. Oh my! <laughs> no, I just. I just know. Oh, hello. I know Phil teaches um, different forms of healing. That's all. Oh, okay. But yeah. All right. This is for Lila. Is that Lila Parker? Uh, Scandinav help healing chronic challenge, pelvic floor, nerve, skin, working on rewiring my brain. And so, I'll just rewind my brain. I'm so complete to sit down. And uh, next one. Uh, hello, are you calling? If you, if you can. Sorry. Oh, ignore that. <laughs> one sec. Let me dig it out again. I've got to get the picture. That's it. All right, there we go. Dig it. Getting pro at this. All right, I'll just do some healing. Just got chronic pain. Okay. I like a crystal around the neck. So I read that again. That sounds like she's had some inside her, if you get what I mean, in a in a blood. The best way when you're healing, when you need to change something is sometimes to go in the eighth, the eleventh chakra, get the blueprint and try and get it to its best condition in the last 15, 20 years. You get the records from the Kashik records. 
look at the blueprint it's like a room with a book on the table you look at it and all these symbols come out and my aspects it's crystal source being records it understands it and then we transfer into a blood the the thing that makes a better that's what we're doing now that makes complete sense i'm giving you me me ideas eh? No, that's, thank you. That's why I, I honestly, I'm not being being flippant. I would pay to, to learn that level of knowledge. So thank you. You get a group of us together, yeah. And now, also in the Kashit records, is uh, reprogram the brain. She so wanted a reboot, so you can get the get the page with the reboot on, right? And give her a download of it. You gotta be subtle, you can't like change it completely. <laughs> right. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going into the brain and I'm trying to connect the brain from the spirit. So the spirit now controls the brain. Sometimes the brain goes a bit weird. Right. So if you can get your like my brain doesn't run me, it's me. It runs you know, my spirit's all side. Yeah. I just think with all the ascension systems at the minute, the brain fog is horrendous. So now I'm pulling in Andromeda energy, so she'd be prickly now. And now I'm changing it to, um, I'll do the, the Emerald Divine Order. These are like white silver beings with like gold energy coming out. I actually remember me meeting them for the Ascension contract Wow! <laughs> with all the Ascended Masters. Yeah, it was an ego trip. They all, all did it because everyone else was doing it. <laughs> and we, yeah. had, we, we had to swap our energy into a, like a crystal, like a con. It wasn't a sign with name, it was a sign with energy. Yeah, I we didn't read the small when print. You go, when you go a visiting, it's a whole other level. <laughs> we we didn't read the small print. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Come in here. Have a look. Right. Yeah, all them cracks then. Whew. I'll do three cards. I do the three cards after because the plan might be changed now because of the Ely. And I have manipulated the uh, Kashyyyk uh, blueprint a little bit. So you've got to take care of the body. you got to take care of the physical body. And what I'm being told is if you go too healthy sometimes, it can actually make your body care worse. you got to have a bit of both. Yeah. And you got spiritual growth if you get your body sorted out. What what you've got to do the last one. You got forgiveness. You got any trauma in your life creates baggage. The baggage can create illness if it's not rectified. So if anyone's ever hurt you or you've hurt anyone, you've got to forgive them or forg and forgive yourself. And you've got to go to that timeline and you've got to like heal your inner child. Oh, there you go. All right. I'm gonna leave her on the screen. Because I'll do, do you want me sound bowl? Me new one. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. So. Are you enjoying in playing it, using it? That magic. Seven metals in that. Whoosh. Went straight to my third eye. Not easy because it's been unmade, un so it's not fully properly round, but decent. Enough. So I'm sending healing to you all. Thank you. Uh, what you do with this, you send the intention down the stick into the actual thing making it, so healing is actually being spread out as well.
And one more. Just wait a sec. It needs to be bedded in, I think. Just a basic one. <laughs> You're right. How was that? Wonderful. Did you feel it? Yeah. Which felt, which ones felt different? The, the bigger one was quite deep. That's it seven. It yeah. went to my third eye, the first one. Yeah. There, but the second one, it was a gentle for me. I, I yeah. didn't feel it strong. I, I, I let the one who does the sound healing play it and he says it's absolutely brilliant and it goes on and on. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah, I think it, it, it's frequency, it's resonant, re, resonant, re, that word. Yeah. But it, it was like instant, it was really fast, whereas the other one was more steady and gentle. Dana, did you hear them music then, at frequencies? Unfortunately, I my phone died, and by the time I put the charger in, it just took a bit to get it back. Okay. Uh... Hold on a sec. I've got a new finger. What else have you done? I prefer the other one. I'll play a little bit. You've all got it if you want to go. Uh, oh God, I don't know where my other tune is. I'll play that one first. Okay. I'll use that one. And the other one. So that one, Phil, was more my heart. I don't know that, what everybody yeah. else. It was like an art chakra one. Yeah, that's what it felt like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what other people felt. I felt it like an opening. Let me just see if I can get the other one. Don't know what I did. Don't know what I did, what I did when we stayed. Got all these toys out now. We're very happy. <laughs> This is the one from Nepal. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. more bass more you know root chakra yeah yeah i thought that my lower chakras although i did feel like a throat clearing as well mm. i'll put it on the table it's easier 
No, it's not. <laughs> Table <laughs> move. <laughs> Last bit. Making my yeah. ears ring that one. Huh? Like, <laughs> like crown? Is it the crown? I didn't get crown. Crown, third eye, maybe. I, I think it can be ears. used. I think it can be used for any, to be honest. Yeah. And with your listening to it in years, it's probably is doing your crown. What they used to do with these, they used to put them on your head when you had an addict and then play them. Um, Why? Wow. <laughs> I thought I'd, I'd give you an headache. Last week, it was so good. Oh, God. I... I really love sound baths and that kind of stuff. Mm. Well, really our, do... our sound bath normally finishes at nine, and we do like breath work, a talk, and then the sound healing. But I do the, right, I do the healing while this sound healing's done. And then we oh, went right. downstairs outside, and they had a, like a fire thing, which I've got a video of. And uh, we were there. It was great. It, it, we did it till I'm half eleven. You. I'll be around. I'll be involved with all your different things. It sounds amazing. Mm, definitely. We had an event today, actually, uh, but it would have crossed into this. I'm not sure. I think they had a band on and stuff like that. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, we've kept you long enough. I'm sorry. Anybody else need it? I think we've I lost know. them. I think we've got everyone. Devin, yeah, it is, they've yeah, got definitely. the funny still. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank, <laughs> okay. you so much, Thank you. Thanks, thanks for coming down. Massively yeah. appreciated. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, I already feel a lot lighter, honestly, Phil. I really do. Yeah. It's made a big difference already. So. But I'll listen to that tongue thing. It scares me a bit, I have to be honest, but I'll just do it. If, if it gets too much, then just turn it off. But try, try and listen to as much as you can. Yeah, I will, I will. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Thank go. you, Phil. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thanks, to see you guys. Thank you. Bye, Bye then. Thank you. Bye.